Warning. Broken simulation. Broken simulation. With Sam Tripoli. Welcome to Johnny Woodard's Presents Broken Simulation. Starring Sam Tripoli. No, let me start that again. Starring Johnny Woodard. And his trusty sidekick, Sam Tripoli. How are you, Johnny? You think you would have uh, gotten that down by now. I know. But, you know, I'm trying to think about what, what we're going to get into today. A lot to talk about. A lot to talk about here on Broken Simulation. The number eight <laughs> podcast in stand-up on Apple Podcasts in America. Yeah. I think we're like... Dude, we are charting all over the Britain. world. We're charting all over the oh, world. We can't stop charting. We're like Elvis Presley. Can't stop, the won't 50s. stop, dude. Yeah. Is there anywhere else we're killing it? Oh, just all over. I the mean, number just one all over. show for just all over. Just the number one show for just people who like shows. Well, how about the number one show for people who like to go find danger, dog? Danger in Hollywood. Danger in Hollywood. Should we rename the show Danger in Hollywood? <laughs> um, let's see. We're number eight in USA stand up. Great Britain stand up. We are thirteen. Canada stand up. We're thirteen. Australia stand up. We're thirteen. That's crazy. That's not that doesn't sound great, does it? Uh, Germany stand up thirty five. Oh, uh, South Korea stand up. We're number eleven. Yeah. French stand up. We are fifteen. Fifteen in Sweden. I mean, just eight. I up. wonder if the French look at us as the, like their new Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Eighteen in Spain. Uh, thirty four. What Brazil. if they love us because we're the number one physical comedy podcast out there? We do the number one physical comedy. We're up sixty one spots in Mexico to fifteen. It's like us and Scissor Bros are the two most Scissor physical Bros? physical audio podcasts out Damn, there. Damn, seven in the Netherlands. Netherlands, Holland, shout out, shout out. Let's see any other. Maybe big we'll ones? go out there. Maybe all the farmers are like listening to us while they riot. Seven in Chile. Johnny, do you think the guy... Oh, hold on. We were number one in Slovenia in stand-up comedy. The number one show in comedy in Slovenia. And we are still Broken number one. Broken simulation that may get renamed Looking for Danger in Hollywood. We don't know. We're still num we're number one in stand-up in Turks and Caicos. Number five in comedy in Turks and Caicos. And 16 in all podcasts in Turks and Caicos now, so... Yeah, it's called the World Dominating. Just crushing. Do you guys understand you're listening to World Dominators? <laughs> just, I, like I the feel like we just have about five fans that travel a lot. We are the just... Rod Stewart of podcasting. <laughs> you know Rod Stewart played like Brazil and had like a million people come see him? I saw him in concert in uh, what the O2 Arena or something like that in England one time. Like what was your favorite ago? Rod Stewart thing well, faces i like faces that band he was in faces was i like the fact that everyone believed he might have gone to the hospital because they had to pump his stomach uh, for that's, jizz. Uh, that's that was i see when i was a kid that was that rumor or that urban legend was about alanis morissette see that you grew up with it being rod stewart yeah. i grew up with it being alanis morissette that, that's what everybody thought was the, the truth and did you uh, well that's two different vibes it hey, totally yeah, yeah. right I, I was, when I was you like, 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 oh, got, had they had to pump her stomach oh. for man sauce you're she, like yeah <laughs> she loves dick. she'll take that jagged little pill <laughs> but dude when you you hear about rod stewart you're like oh rod yeah, what, 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 I mean, and his, it's so funny that lets you know how naive and, we were at one point that we hadn't been completely corrupted by Bukaki films. <laughs> that we thought it was at all possible to OD yeah. a man yeah. sauce. Yeah. Get your stomach pumped. You're like, right. oh, doctor, doctor, what, what's wrong with him? Oh, yeah. God, he's... get her into the operating room. <laughs> She's drowning in man sauce. <laughs> Ma'am, what, what were you doing uh, at the time of, of the incident? Whoa. I was sucking dick. I would love. To see that that recreation on the oh, ID yeah. channel, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that would be the best. Yeah, yeah. those those are, those dramatizations are the They're worst. They're so great, They're so bad, dude. And I feel They're for those terrible. actors. I root for them. They're terrible. How do you? What do you, do you think they they hold auditions for those? They must, right? I think they probably go to either general casting or they do have auditions, which is hilarious. And yeah. I just feel for those people. Yeah, because they because they pay. just like this is my break. I'm gonna play, you know, OD and on man sauce patient. It's your first gig out in Hollywood. Your first gig out in Hollywood. <laughs> hey, so can I? I got a couple of fun facts about Sam Triple I want to talk about. Let's go. Uh, number one, I, I, I refuse to kill spiders. 
Oh, see, this is interesting. Now, I have taken a policy recently where I don't like to kill anything either. I'm, I'm curious of your reasoning. I really don't like to kill bugs, but I really won't kill spiders. I won't do it because spiders eat the eat the ugly bugs that I don't like. They're like my my enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? So I'm like, because like girls are always like, kill it. I'm like, it's a spider. They're like, sell its girl. I'm like, it's my friend. It's my friend. It's here to help. Yeah, especially if I'm pretty sure it's not poisonous, I'm going to let it be. Yeah, I mean, like, you're always wondering, like, is that a black widow? Right? Yeah. That's always it. Like, oh, my God, is that black widow? And once you're like, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah. Then you're like, can I help you, buddy? And then you try to scoop it up. That's what I do. Yeah. You try to scoop it up Get and it outside. freaks out. You're like, don't eat me. And then you throw it out so it could live another day to go eat the ugly bugs I can't stand. I'm Can't ready. stand these th bugs, bro. Which have you noticed? There are a lot of like flies in LA, right? Right, right. Like gnats and stuff. They're yeah. everywhere. What is no, that? Uh, dude, I saw Danny Longlegs the other day. Those are really? scary because you're pretty sure those are like big ass mosquitoes. You know what else those are called? They're like another name for them is called harvest men. Isn't that kind of a cool name? What? They're called harvest men. Like a that harvest sounds man. like a, a weird German metal band. Harvest men? No, they they they, they come harvest, harvest men. They come around harvest time and they. Oh, uh, they know. come around the harvest time. Eat Johnny, it. another fun fact about me. Are you ready? Go on. Another fun fact. I like being fat. I've, uh, I mean, like, I need to keep my weight down, but I'm happier fat. This came, you, what, uh, you, this dawned on you recently? Well, it's just like the not eating when you want. I, I like, I like to be fat. I'm more comfortable fat. Does anybody like. Wait, wait, hold on now. Are you saying you feel more comfortable in your body when you're fat? Or I'm just, just happier eat? fat. But is it because of how you feel in your I'm body? I'm just or like because of able to do whatever I want to yeah, do and have it. fun and eat it and just eat and have fun and just be a fat ass. And then you, what what happens when you get that weird doctor visit where he's like your cholesterol is fucking Yeah, and then you're million. like, oh, nobody's looking at me in any sexual way possible. And I'm just, I'm wearing too big of shirts. I'm just really sloppy. Like I went to go hang out with Brian Callen this weekend with my kids, and I took my shirt off, and like everyone that hangs out, Brian is like a zero body fat guy except for yeah. fucking crime boss tits over here. I have crime boss tits, and you know it's like, and it makes it worse because I have a cross, an Armenian cross that goes right between my tits. Do you really? I didn't know that. Yeah, That's funny. I have it right here. Uh, that's okay. We don't need it. What? We don't we don't we don't need to see you strip down again. No, I'm not gonna strip down. What are you weird? Oh, oh, I thought you meant a tattoo. No, that right there. I got you. Okay. So it just sits between my chi chis. I got you. Right? That's interesting. But anyways, back to uh back to Armenians, man. So Johnny, I, I get Mitsubishi's. The Mitsubishi dealer for the longest time was in Glendale, and I would go to get mm -hmm. a car in Glendale. And, you know, I would show up and, like, Armenians, they like they didn't think I was an Armo because my last name's Tripoli. My mother's new changed, last right? name yeah. is Armenian, right? So her last name's Armenian. Uh, my grandma's Armenian. My grandfather's Armenian. I'm come from a long line of Armos. Your and father is what? Italian? Italian Sicilian. Did they count you as Armo if you're half Armo? Well, it's very interesting, Johnny. So when I moved to LA, right, everyone was like, oh, why, why do you do the Armenian side? And I'm like, well, because the Italians are all like, you know, it's like, yay, I was eating meatball, Justin. That's how they were when you showed up. They weren't like cool and slick like Sebastian is now. Yeah. It was like, it was like the stereotype of Italians. Italia. It was like, it was, we, they were still in that eighties mode. Sopranos hadn't come out yet. That's what you're saying. Yeah. yeah well, it, well, you know, what's weird about the Sopranos, Johnny, is that people hated Italians hated the Sopranos. Did they? I heard the mafia guys all liked it. I heard that, like, I knew a lot of Italians who hated it because they said it made Italians look bad. And I was like, dude, they run organized crime, not a gay bathhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, it's like... Well, kind of except in West Hollywood. They they also run a gay wet... I'm uh, sure. Uh, they I'm do. Sure. No, they do. Hold on. The Russian mafia runs a gay bathhouse in You're West Hollywood. You're telling me the Russian mob runs gay bathhouses? A gay, they have a bathhouse in a West Hollywood. A specific one. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you know which one it is? Because I used to walk past it all the time, and you see these old Russian dudes coming out in their bathrobes on the sidewalk. Smoking cigarettes yeah, uh -huh. with their crime boss tits out? Absolutely, yeah. It's right next to Studs. It's like a couple of blocks from Studs. And that's the... Oh, dude, Studs. That gay theater, yeah. Johnny, we should buy Studs and renovate it and flip it, <laughs> turn into a live performance place where the ghosts of fucking oh, AIDS passed. There's some live performances going on in there. there. 
hot Live. there. So Johnny, so I go there. I don't know if this is going to be interesting or not, but I go there and I want to get another Mitsubishi. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get one for Dana so we could both have cars because I had basically crashed two of Dana's cars. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, okay. This is from our guy who insists he's a great driver. Go on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, first time I first time I messed up uh, one of her caddies, she had two caddies. I think I messed them both up. What kind of Cadillac did she have? Car? She had like a big one. No, it was a big Mitsubishi and then a Cadillac. Cadillac Escalade or something? No, Cadillac, uh, a black long Car? Cadillac. But uh, but what happened was like the first- Dana the, the, had a Cadillac, huh? Yeah. That's, that's hard to imagine. Okay. So she, she had a big Mitsubishi that I used to drive. And what happened was- um, my, I got a flat on the way back from Ventura. I was driving down and I got a flat and this cop came up and was like, you're on the wrong side of the road. You have to drive across the road with your flat. And how I, did you get on the wrong side of the road? Because the, the tire went psh, and I was on the left side. You got to be, they want you on the rest, the, the oh, right oh, side you pull because over people there. come over and just like, bang. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And what, you ruined the wheel? I Basically, the axis got fucked. Oh, the axle? Wow. Fuck yeah. Up. Done. Really fucked up. Done deal. Damn. Messed that up, and then I crashed her uh, her caddy when we were arguing one time. She was texting me and arguing me. I looked down, I looked up, the car stopped, bang, and I hit behind it. Okay. Yeah. Bad driver. Go on. I'm not a bad driver. I was a victim of circumstances, okay? I'm texting while driving. Yeah, come on. yeah, it wasn't right, but it was a, a moment of passion. You text all the time while driving. I do not. Not anymore. Not anymore, Johnny. I have kids. Only while you... When I have children. When your children aren't in the car, you text while driving. So anyways, Johnny, this isn't about my driving. This is about my Armenian people. Oh, so I... I I, I need to care. I'm going to get... I'm gonna, so I had to drive Johnny around a while... I didn't have money at the time. Dana didn't. Dana, Dana didn't have a lot of cash at the time either. Wait, so, I, I, is this? Are you saying is this a while ago? Or? Yes, this is a while ago. Okay. So we had to drive her sister. I don't know if this was after Celsius, after you found out about Celsius going bankrupt, or if this was. A no, long time. Johnny, this isn't right now. Okay, a guy who fucking laughs on my financial grave. Go fuck yourself. So I. This is. So neither of us had a car, right? So. We had we had to borrow Dana's sister's car. She loaned it to us. It was a VW Bug that had the license plate "wuss" on it. Oh no! I had to drive around LA in a green oh, VW no. green, Bug, lime green, oh. lime green VW Bug with the license plate "wuss." Did you get a lot of like attention from the gays too? I I get well, no. Really? I thought I think that's no. Like everybody's a- just like you, fucking pussy. People cut me off, not worried about anything. That car cucks you, bro. That's a cuck car. I can't imagine you <laughs> driving around. Hey, guys, restaurant. I'm just driving to watch my wife get fucked by black guys. That's what, what that car says. drives that car? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. A guy who's out of options? Yeah. But guy, what kind of man picks that car and buys that car? But it, No, a man doesn't. No, nobody. Just no, no man would pick no, that car. No, a man does. You see it all the time. Who would that be, though? That's a weird guy. That There's a couple cars that if you drive it, you're gay or you're a cuck. Another one is the PT Cruiser, right? Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. like. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. It's either that or these. Some guys think that's like a hot rod kind of car. There's some dudes that think that that kind of looks like a hot rod. What's the cars that they take you when you're dead in one of those? Hearse. Yeah, it's like a gay hearse. That's what that is. <laughs> PT Cruiser's a yeah. gay hearse. Yeah. I'm with you. Right? So she, we didn't have a car. Finally got made some money. Smart had, car. Had some money. So I'm like, okay. And I needed to fix my... I needed to fix my credit at the time, right? Okay. All right. All right. Dana had another car that she was driving. Okay. Now I remember. Dana had a car. My car was up. I needed a new car. Dana needed a new car. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to lease two cars. They would give me a deal if I leased two cars. So we're going around, and they're like, if you want this, 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 and this, it just ups the up, ups. And I'm like, damn, dude, I, I don't want anything. I just want a car. So Johnny, these Armenians are trying to work me, bro. They're trying to work me because they don't think I'm Armenian, okay? They don't think I'm an Armo. So they think I'm just a civilian who just wandered into Glendale and they were going to eat me like prey, 
Right. Like piranhas. Just 100%. Nothing left but your wallet. These guys. And I'm like, I'm working these dudes because they got to sell. You, they got to sell cars. Oh, that's high pressure, that shit. Yeah. They got to sell these cars, and I'm going to get two, and they're doing whatever. I'm seeing how low I can get these, these payments down. So I agree to these this car. This is a true story. I believe- Mitsubishi. I, a Mitsubishi. I don't remember the specifics. It was the Outlander like XL, right? I yeah. forget what it was, but yeah, it was yeah. like an Outlander XL. So I'm like, these are the cars you want. Bro, you want those? We get you though. We take care of you, bro. I'm like, okay. So they're like, we're going to go get the car for you. You, you leave your car here. Because my car was dying, the old car I had. Like I would have to jump them instantly. So uh, I, I, get to, I asked for, let's say, the uh, uh, Outlander XL. Okay. They're like, we want these. Bro, we take care of you. We get it. Hand to God, dude. They bring out two different cars. What do you mean? Okay. Lower models. Oh, really? They're bringing out lower models, trying to sell me the lower models that would price. drive up for the price of the higher model. That's funny. And I go, dude, this ain't the car. I go, this ain't the car. Bro, this is the car. Do you want the car? Do you not want the car? I go, bro, I made a deal with you motherfuckers. Get me the fucking car I wanted. Bro, what you talking about? I'll go talk to them. And I know where these motherfuckers send out the head armo. This guy's supposed to be the bad book guy, right? How, how can you tell he's the head armo? Because he's the boss. He, they call him the boss. Okay. The boss is going to come talk to you. Right. He wear a tie or what? Is he just real sweaty? He was just called the boss. Okay. And the boss comes out and boss I'm imagining starts, like a fat version nope, of you. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, okay. no. Nope, nope. Just think like L.A. taxi driver. Okay. okay. Right? Kind of thin face, worn, okay? Yeah. Mix matching fucking tie. Sleeves button are up rolled up, yeah. No more cut sleeve, oh, right? Cut. Oh, wait, short right? sleeve. Okay. Right, short sleeve, but with a tie. Clip like, on tie, yeah. Brown, brown pants. <laughs> okay. Right? Okay, I'm imagining, I'm imagining uh, the guy, the, oh, fuck. The guy from... Uh, Rounders, John Torturo, you know John Torturo. Yeah, yeah, that's in a I'm weird imagine. way. Yeah, but no, like it's kind of like I'm trying to think about who who we'd be like. All right, okay, here's what, exactly what I'm imagining. Hold on, just wait for this picture to load up. This guy, John Torturo, as this character right here. I, you know, I'm going to this guy. Right I'm going to give it to you, but it wasn't that. But I'll give it to you in a weird way. In a weird way, he had more cut down hair. He was like angrier. You know, angrier. Yeah, and he was here was more slick back, full armo. So the Mexicans do all the fucking are all the like the 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 the, the floor guys, and then the guys who run everything in Glendale are the armos. So, bro, he comes out and he starts going nuts on me. On you? Yeah. Dude, bro, I gave you deal, bro. I tried to set you up. You come out here. You fucking call us lies. Bro, I am not going to. And wait, I wait. Oh, I got to ask. A so did you have those cars ordered in or did, did it was all done there on the lot? That done day? there on the so lot. So it's not like they special ordered them in. No. Like, okay, gotcha. No. They were bait and switching me. Of course. Yeah, that's fucking classic. I mean, they start fucking. He starts screaming at me. This Try is the thing that always works, by the way. They're like, well, the boss will get him. Hey, yeah, we're, we're good. right? And they think if you yell, you're like, oh, hey, man, I'm sorry. Bro, he he triggered the Armo in me, and I start to <laughs> out-Armo him. I'm like, hey, motherfucker, who are you talking to like that? You don't know me, dog. I go, I'm Armenian, motherfucker. You're pulling the shit on me. And, I start, and fear comes over his face. I go, you're fucking bait and switching me right now. And then what I always do is I tell them how big my podcasts are, and I exaggerate it. I go, I'm going to go on this podcast and light you the fuck up, bro. It's going to rain Yelp reviews on you, dude. We're going to talk to everybody in Turks and Caicos, yeah. and they're going to be on their computers. Dude, are you ready to be shit in the Netherlands? Huh? <laughs> Your name will be Dirt you won't in fucking go France, dude. Yeah, you won't go anywhere. I'm the Jerry Lewis of France now. Good luck getting a cheeseburger in Slovenia, Dude, you piece he of shit. Back down right there, and they pull out my cars. Wait, so they just had them wait? Oh, that's so funny. Dude, they want me to take the lesser cars. They must do that all the time. All huh? the time. All the time. Do you have any shame for your people? 
Listen, dude, you know what I get? I, I I really laugh at like when Jews are like, dude, that's anti Semitic. I'm like, are you really trying to say like there's no shady Jews out there? <laughs> like that, like that's Italian and Armenian, right? Yeah, like, yeah, imagine yeah. me going, dude, no, Armenians are like up uh, on the up and up. Yeah, yeah. They don't pull any shady shit. Yeah, dude, there's no uh, Irish, English, uh, Southern KKK racist either. Yeah, right? there's like, nothing. No, we're no, yeah, no we're all above the board. Yeah. Everybody's great. Dude, Italians, yeah. Armenians. Shady fucks, bro. Shady, We've all dude. got something. We all got something. And there's nothing wrong with that. No. There's nothing wrong with that. It's funny. It's funny. So that's what I got. I got that. So <laughs> I did he did he apologize? Uh dude, he just he he had fear in his eye, bro. He's like, okay, bro. I got okay. Hey, everybody. We all know someone who struggles with quitting smoking. Sam knows Dana. I've had my grandmother. That's why you've got to check out Fume. Fume is the natural inhaler designed to be a better and safer way to quit cigarettes it's a no smoke no vape no nicotine replacement for the hand-to-mouth habit of smoking fume handcrafts wooden inhalers using cores infused with plant oils studied to curb cravings they have flavors like peppermint and conquer with minty notes that simulate menthol cigarettes they also have other flavors like lemon berry bliss if you want a sweeter experience and all of their flavors are 100 percent natural no harmful chemicals no artificial flavors and absolutely no nicotine Quitting is tough, but Fume can really help. They've got thousands of five-star reviews from smokers who have tried everything else and found that this works. I know Dana has had a great time with Fume. She's really been blown away by how effective it is at replacing that habit of taking your hand to your mouth when you smoke. Whether you are a smoker or an ex-smoker who still struggles with cravings, Fume is the perfect tool for you. Head to Breathe Fume dot com slash broken and use the promo code broken to save 10% off your entire order. That's 10% off your entire order when you head to B R E A T H E F U M dot com slash broken and use the promo code broken. So did you ever hear the story of Steve Byrne? I heard about how you fucked this sandwich. I heard about that. Yeah, but that's okay. It wasn't okay. It was terrible. Well, you know, he Have got- you apologized to him yet? Well, I didn't think, like, Johnny, if you fucked my you chicken call, sandwich. You should try to call him again right now and apologize to this poor Should Steve I call Burn. him yeah. right now? Yeah, we tried once before. You should try again. You should leave a message if he doesn't answer. Just apologize for fucking his chicken sandwich. Dude, I, I mean, like, I didn't know it was a big deal. Mm, it is. In fact, we had one guy said he stopped listening to the show because you fucked a chicken sandwich. Well, you know what, man? Then you ain't ride and die, bro. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, you could say maybe he. He didn't know what kind of person you were, and now he does. Well, you've, you've changed though since then, right? Are you saying I wouldn't fuck a guy's chicken sandwich again? I don't again? think so. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. That's you know, we live and we learn. It cost me a friendship, I'm according just, to Steve. Blame the drugs. Blame the drugs. Sorry. Blame the drugs. So, Johnny, do you want to get some stuff? Because I got another cr- crazy story Absolutely. about walking the streets. Uh, yeah, streets of Hollywood. Yeah. yeah so, do you want to get into the the reviews and all the other fun stuff? Uh, we'll do reviews, and then you do the streets of Hollywood. Okay. Uh, the ho- streets Sam of Tripoli's the- Hollywood Safari is what we call that, I believe. This is from uh, Susaki. Sam's a werewolf. Five stars. <laughs> Sam, your growing pains are a sign of werewolfism. Before long, you're going to be like that scene in American Werewolf in London. <laughs> Take a dab. You'll be good. Love all your shows. Johnny, you need an ayahuasca trip. I, I agree, Johnny. Yeah, I would do it. I have some fear. I can't. I have some fears about uh, some stuff. I've heard vomiting and stuff like that that can trigger. Uh, I got like I can have like a weird heart rhythm thing that I'm worried about if I get way out on. Oh, you have a heart problem, Johnny? Well, I can. I can have like a if I get really sick. What do you mean you can't? If you hope. If I vomit a lot, like I can, it'll give me uh, like a sometimes very rarely, but it has given me like a weird heart rhythm, uh, AFib, atrial fib- fibrillation, which is you know, I mean, it goes back to normal. I but. just had a guy in my zero podcast. He did an ayahuasca trip, and he's like, the spirits told me I couldn't eat pizza. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. That's that's well, okay. I guess, hey, specific man. Hey, you all, ask for we advice. all have uh, spiritual like uh, <laughs> uh, messages. Yours is you can't have stuffed you, crust you pizza. You ask for advice. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's what comes go. back. Did, who was it that was on? Oh shit! Uh, 
Oh, yeah, Neil Brennan was on Rogan, dude, and talking about how, I mean, Neil Brennan, a guy who was classically, like, atheist, you know, Hollywood, like, godless kind of guy, who now is just a, I mean, he thinks, he spoke to God, basically. I love that. Good for him, man. I like Neil. Noticeably softened his, like, sort of outlook I've seen him on. I like Neil. Interesting. Yeah, no, I mean, I, you know, if I didn't have that fear, I would, absolutely. What, like Neil? Uh, No, I would uh, go for ayahuasca if I didn't have that fear. Johnny, you gotta do it. Yeah, I, 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 I maybe something that doesn't make you nauseous. What do you mean? Um, I already have, a, I, I already have a pretty loose grip on sanity, uh, relatively speaking. So yeah. you know, I'm also worried about that ending up like Sid Barrett, so. not coming back. Yeah, I, that, that I have a fear of that. All um, right, Johnny. ATL connector, five stars. Love it. It's great to hear Sam's crazy life and Johnny is a great mix. Thank you. Thank you. JVD seven eight eight zero five stars. Best podcast out there. That's what he says. Thank you, dude. Now, di- some of them uh-huh. start to get Johnny a uh, homoerotic. Some of these. On, on. Let's see. Okay. Some of these are like way Johnny homoerotic. Like they really want to get your piece, bro. Well, hold on. Let's see. Okay. Uh, the dynamic between Johnny and Sam is great. The way Johnny holds Sam accountable on almost everything from his, grammar, from his grammar to the way Sam goes off on tangents and then reels him back in like a fish on a hook is great. Uh, well, so I mean, that. that's kind of the show, right? Yeah, yeah. It all feels very real and genuine, which is lacking on almost all other podcasts I listen to. The only, Thank you. <laughs> the only thing that really pisses me off is when Johnny says interesting, which I, I don't. Oh, he's saying on the super authentic podcast, you have the most unauthentic moment. I agree with that. Thank you. I don't know. Interesting. No, you're like, interesting. That's when either you're not listening and you're just zoning out. and you yeah, have, I'm you're... always listening. <laughs> I listen as soon as it's uploaded and look forward to it every week. Oh, well, thank you, JVD. That's interesting. Uh, thank you, bro. <laughs> uh, Demo Derby. Demo underscore Derby. Five stars. Best podcast out there. Best podcast out. Nothing better. Thank you, okay, dude. Now, we got something from someone in... Uh, Vietnamese, it looks like here. Can you copy and paste it and we find out what to. it is? This is from someone called Cornwallis. It probably means Johnny's hot cock sandwich. <laughs> Vietnamese, English, it's already saved in our search history, so we don't have to enter that. Thank God. How are we doing in Vietnam, though? I feel like I we're old news. Yeah, I, I, I think they're over us there. Or either those people who are living in Vietnam moved, moved somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Johnny. This is the translation. I'm not sure what changed. Jesus, Jesus took so long to recommend this podcast to me. I guess he got this podcast from well, Jesus. Well, you know what? The fact that Jesus Jesus is giving us shout outs makes me feel good, right? Johnny, I I I'm cool with Jesus. Me too. Absolutely. You know what I love is when when uh some, some let's say somebody like passed away or somebody's having a bad day or something's not going good on their life. My mom wants me to call them, but what she'll say to me is, "Sam, can you give them a shout out?" Like I'm supposed. Did I already say this on the show? <laughs> you mentioned that she said shout out, but you didn't mention that that's what she meant. Yeah, she it. always ma- she wants me to call them, but she's like, "Sam, can you give them a shout out?" Like I'm supposed to say, "Hey, <laughs> oh, Sarah, so- I'm sorry about the baby." <laughs> like Delilah, you remember yeah. that radio show, Delilah, that woman that used to do uh, sex or remember Dear advice? Abby's man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah do they still do those? I think so. I think it's somebody else doing the answers now, though. It's just like a sort of under her imprimatur or whatever. Uh, okay, five stars. This is from Sethers. One. Johnny Dub for... Oh, no, I didn't finish the... Sorry, the, the Vietnam thing. Oh. Uh, Jesus uh, took so long to recommend this podcast to me. This is the perfect podcast to listen to while getting a handy uh, from a young lady. God bless... Boy, he forgot that. Vietnam. <laughs> God bless Sim suffering broken. I think there's some translation issues there, but uh, God bless. So God I bless love him. that Google can't even translate our listeners. And dude, what 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 makes you think our 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 Vietnamese listeners aren't as retarded as we are with our grammar? That's a good point. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I've always wondered that. Do you think that you can, like, when I hear Vladimir Putin speak Russian, right? Yeah. He sounds smart to me, yeah. but I'd have to hear him speak English to know if he sounded, you know what I mean? Right, like, that's a good point. I, and I always wonder that about foreign, like, I have to ask, like, does he, hey, does he sound smart, you know? Like, Johnny, would you say that two of the last four presidents we've had sound stupid? Like, whether they're good or bad, right? Two out of the last four. Yeah. 
I would say four out of the last four. Are all pretty uh, well, I mean, dumb. as much as I can't stand Obama, he is a good. He is. Yeah. A, oh, he until speaks he, well until he got off teleprompter, and then he was a lot of like, uh, uh yeah, I believe, uh, yeah, we're gonna. Oh, really? Chicago, but I, uh, if I, if I would never say that he's a bad speaker. No, he's not. You're right. Maybe yeah. he's not authentic, but he can speak well, right? I mean, as much as we know that no, he's, uh, yeah, 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 you're right. He yeah. smokes crack and sucks old white dicks, or like his dick sucked by old white guys, which is so weird, right? What a weird, like, what a weird fucking fetish to have. Yeah. But that's why you, you know, it's like that's what you're into, old white dudes. That's why he's there? Slobbing your knob while you smoke crack. That's why he's there. Yeah, that's why you're there. But then you know, it all comes down to: Do you think Trump was a good speaker? Like. Whether you like what he says or I not. I would say he's an effective communicator okay. for sure. Yeah, but he, we would both agree that George Bush wasn't good and Joe Biden wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden right? is half a retard. Right? I mean, sorry. Like, I sorry. remember when George Bush was giving speeches and then they would show like like Ronald Reagan speeches and you're like, oh God, yeah. like Ronald Reagan may not have been the smartest guy in the world, but that dude- He could deliver his lines, man. Could deliver a line. Yeah, it was from his old actor days. Yeah, he could deliver lines, man. He's like, what's the movie where the guy just sure. reads off the prompter all the time? What was that? Ron Burgundy? Right. Uh, like, yeah, dude, yeah. That, was Ron, that was Ronald Anchorman, Reagan. Man. Ron Burgundy, to Mr. The Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, Sethers one says Johnny Dub for president. Wow, Jay Nice keeps this train chugging along. Meanwhile, Sam's just riding along, asking how to say Rim Desivir. Yeah, Rim Every other episode. All jokes aside, I love this podcast. I'm also a new father to a beautiful baby girl. Oh, you're and so I'm blessed. I'm 99 percent sure. Oh, this is this guy again. She's conceived while Broken Sam was serenading the bedroom. I love, love you, boys. that. I think this is a different guy. Actually, this is somebody Dude, else who's. Conceived. I think this is the number one Congrats. podcast to make babies to. Yeah, because that that's a different person. Wow. Okay, now this is the listen, one. This is the one you're talking about. Listen, that. real quick. If you are having trouble conceiving. Turn on Broken Sim. We've had people make babies listen to our smooth sounds. Yeah. A lot of people call this the Barry White of podcasting. Smooth, I haven't, I haven't heard that. sensual. I haven't heard that. People are asking, by the way, what the outro song is now. It's this song by this band called Fastball that I always liked as a kid. Uh, it's called Growing, Growing, Gone. Uh, you can find it on their Patreon. Is it every show now? Yeah, just because it's a good outro but song. But do we get in trouble for that? No, no I asked for their permission. Okay, and they said, yeah, whoever they you did. are? No, I mean... What do you have to do? Go, listen, we're big in a lot of countries if you tour. No, it's not. It was It was a song. They It's like a demo they only released on their Patreon, and they were cool. They were just cool with it. They're cool people. Can I hear it? Sure. Yeah, it's about... Uh, For those who actually stay to the end of these long-ass shows. Yeah, it's about uh, Austin and how it kind of pimped out and kind of lost its magic. Is that recently? I mean, the song just came out like, okay. a couple weeks ago. And what's yeah. the name of the band? Fastball. You remember that song like, they made up their mind, they started packing. You know. Johnny, you can sing. No, I can't. Johnny, we're karaokeing. I don't give a you know, fuck, you know, bro. You know this song. Uh, hold on. Johnny, they we're going to. this song in the 90s. Okay, this is an older band? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they still play, and I always like them, but and I like their new music, but this is, you would know this song. I, I've communicated with them before because I helped them with through a, what a medium or a Ouija board. No, I I helped them make an album like um, yeah. Patreon with them. Did you remember this song? Yeah. Anyway, they had a and lot. And they of, have a Patreon. Yeah. Uh, and what do they do? Release albums? Uh, like demos and like as they're making their album, they'll put songs out like early on there and stuff. Oh, that's it's, interesting. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Pick up your guitar. Sing me a song. I like that song. This was Groover's Paradise. Now the Groover is gone. The Groover is gone. Was a cool little city. But time marches on. Growing, growing, gone. Bro, Johnny, stop it. That's so funny. What if I never heard that 
and like that comes synonymous with me. And like, let's say at my funeral, they're going, let's play it one more time. And I'd never heard it before. And everyone's like, well, Sam never played this song ever, but because it's at the end of the show. It's people, a good like bye song. Though, yeah, you know right. I mean? it's but like everyone's associating it with yeah. me, even though I just now have heard it for the first time. Oh, it reminds me of that song they play at the end of SNL. You know, the it's kind of just like a, like, okay, let's go, let's go away now. Kind of I like, like it, John. Yeah, I do too. It's like a good it. song. It's a good song. Um, okay, Jay Nice, lower sixty. Jay Nice, lover sixty nine. This is the, whoa. This here, is we the here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The most handsome man in podcasting. I'm embarrassed. Uh, well, I'm embarrassed. Johnny Woodard is the Fabio of podcasting. Uh, you might say Fabio. I say Fabio. He delivers every week with his witty charm and devilish good looks. Sam is the man, but Johnny is the pretty boy. The show would end. I, you see, I can read this because I, I memorized this, uh, you know, earlier. Yeah, so I can read it. Yeah, you jerked off looking. to it a bunch of times. No, because I wrote it. Uh, no, okay. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, the show should end uh, with Johnny's beautiful face singing country classics. <laughs> oh, wait. He's got something bad to say about me, though. Instead of those Weezer atrocities, you can go fuck yourself, first of all, for slamming Weezer. I won't hear of it. Uh, Sam, don't let those heavy legs weigh you down. Thank Sincere, you, bro. Sincerely, Johnny's secret of mine. Thank you, bro. I'm humiliated. I think by it's that. yeah. Thank you, Johnny. Face I, of I just hope, face I, of a movement. Johnny. What is there any chance that's a woman? <laughs> it's no. Like, what percentage would you There's say? Like none. a point five percent. I don't know why dudes get off on acting like chicks and getting yeah. dudes to like say weird shit to them. No. It's such a weird fetish. I think it's called being gay, Sam. I think yeah, but you don't want to be gay, or is it? Johnny, did you see that thing I posted today on in or yesterday on Instagram? Too fat to transition. No, I feel like I've heard you say that before. But no, 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 no. What do you mean? Why would I bring that up in conversation? No, I feel like it's a TV show. It's on Instagram. Oh, that's where I've seen it before. Yes, yes. I couldn't believe that was real. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, a TV yeah, 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 show. Yeah, yeah. We got to watch the trailer for that. Hold on. Oh, can you find that, please? Can we watch Too Fat to Transition? Like, there's not fat chicks out there. Here we go. Please watch this. Here we go. Dude, that poor guy. Person. Person. Just don't even risk it. Just. Oh, you person. can't even watch it? Oh, no, we're going to find something. You there's got to be a trailer. Too Fat to Transition trailer. Let's just see some, uh, Oh, my. Oh, is this like they, it just goes on forever? Yeah. Uh, uh, but okay, dude, let's just see this. Yeah, see we're going to have the communication. You need to know what's going on. I'm transgender. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So I'm guessing what this is is you have to be have a certain BMI to get the the gender reassignment surgery. What's BMI? Body mass and you know your weight and height ratio has to be a certain number. To, oh really? Yeah, I would. I'm guessing to have the surgery performed. You know, by most doctors. Let's see if that's right. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> like this guy. This guy's Stop. supposed to be surprised. Stop. Look at him Stop. trying to act Stop. surprised. Look Stop. at him trying to act surprised. This guy trying to ask. Well, We're gonna have the woman. communication. You need to know what's going on. I'm transgender. Look at him trying to act surprised. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> Which is why it's so important for me to lose weight because I'm having gender reassignment surgery. My first impression of Kayla when I saw the wig was: Is this a guy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he is. He is training her. He's, He's going to he, be your trainer. Your physical trainer, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> him, his, him trying to act like he was, didn't know that already is the funniest thing I've ever seen. He's like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Cool. Let's so see. She told me that she was transgender. When she explained it, I got a good idea of what was going on. Oh, I know wow. going into that surgery healthier will help you get through it. I'm glad I can be a part of it. Me too, man. Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's be honest. Somebody was sitting around TLC one day, and just that phrase popped in, too fat to transition. Yeah, yeah. And then this that's why this show exists, because some guy just thought of that phrase, too fat to transition, and it gave him a little tickle, and they're like, I'm pitching or, this. The or they game. were at a gay bar, saw a fat trans, and go, girl, you're too fat to transition. And they're like... Oh. That's our show. That's like that should be what was uh, Gabby's. What's the fucking chick's name? Uh, that Australian comedian, lady comedian. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's her name? Uh, Nanette. You know. Yeah, like, Nanette, like, That yeah. should be her next special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too, too fat to transition. <laughs> that was Artie Lang's book. You know, too fat to fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back. Go back. Let's see some other ones. This is so wonderful. 
Well, that's Kayla right there. Oh, is she doing well? Is well, Kayla doing well? Hard. Don't quit. Last one. I want to look like the woman that I am. Good. I want to have the breast augmentation and gender confirmation surgery so I can turn my penis into a vagina. Finish strong. Don't quit. But I need to be under 210 pounds to get my gender reassignment. Oh, oh you were right, Johnny. And she's 270. Is that something that you can commit to? She's got to lose 60 Three. pounds, bro. Four. Good. Five jumping jacks. Good. My personal trainer, Mike, has been a huge inspiration to me. She's awesome. lost weight, though. And I'm finding out, but I have the ability to yeah. do things that I didn't think I could do. Three. Oh, I don't want to wear those things. Good. Awesome. You're getting better. Thanks. Are I'm rooting for. Yeah. Last time we did that was day one, so it should have changed quite a bit. Hopefully. Vocabulary. More times than not, you believe in me more than I have believed in me. Or working out's definitely been outside of my comfort zone. You Even think, you you think once she gets the surgery, she's going to come back and, and show off her post to this guy? <laughs> you know, she's going to be like, this is what you... Oh, look you, at this! You, you did you this! You did this. Thank you so much. Do you want to see? And he's like, uh... <laughs> I don't know, not man. Not really. That guy might be into it. Not really. Oh, wait. Oh, this chick. Oh, I oh, no. hate this, She never life. gets a transition. I'm 23 years old. God. And I can hardly take care of myself anymore. Oh, my. Imagine how old is she? 23. And I can imagine having to have a giant stick to take I think, a bath. How could you let it get this far? Oh man, this is 597 insane. pounds. Dude, that is insanity. We're, I had a very dark childhood. That's like childhood. Jabba the Hutt right yeah, there. Yeah. I have a lot of pain and anger towards my mom. Oh. Everything she well, did that's not helping. made me feel like no one could Who ever love me. Who the fuck makes me. bacon like that? She just so takes a giant pot of old, grease I and puts bacon in it. Yeah. That's not how you make bacon. With my grandparents permanently. Well, she did. That's how she learned. Food was my comfort. It was the only thing that made me feel better. It was the only thing that made me feel like everything will be okay. Dude, those parents do and not look like here, they want to be a part of this, pounds, do they? At least no, they 40 don't. pounds. Look, look what she's eating for breakfast, dude. She's got, like, a bunch of bacon that was made... And she just dumped it in a bunch of oil. See, but listen, Three Johnny. Three fucking donuts. As and a, a guy waffle. who likes to be fat, okay? As a guy who likes to be fat. That would make me throw up if I ate that. Like, I get I what she's bacon. talking about. I love bacon, but if I couldn't eat three donuts for breakfast, I would yak. I just, yeah. I mean, like, dude, that's your breakfast? But at what, what, what point do you look in the mirror and you're like, fuck, I gotta, I can't just keep doing this? Like, to me, that point is, like, if I get to, like, 200 pounds, which I've done one time before, I'm like, okay. Yeah. This yeah. is enough of this. Yeah. You know? And it's then, fucking nuts, dude. I mean, I, and there are just some people that have no hope, and that's what kind of I see there based on where they're living and all that stuff. That's a trailer. There's probably not a lot. Is, she yeah. said she has a very dark childhood. Her parents do not look like she wants to be. I was born in a trailer. I grew up. I, my, my first five years. What are you, years, Kid Rock? A single wide. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, anyways. too fat to transition. Uh, only one more here. Uh, based GXD, five stars. Spread love and peace. Hey, guys, I was reluctant to listen to Broken Sam at first because I was scared Johnny would be annoying, but it turns out he's really funny, too, and I'm an asshole. Uh, some, <laughs> thank you Can for Can you write that. asshole in an he Apple wrote, review? He wrote, he wrote a-hole. Uh, I'm an a-hole is what he wrote. Uh, sometimes I think I'm really crazy for thinking the way I do or making the jokes I make, but listening to the show helps me help listening to the show helps me. Uh, like you say, spread love always P S vote local, which is, that was my line, uh, which Sam has kind of co-opted. Do you guys but, know that's Johnny's tramp stamp? Vote local. It, uh, yeah, Great, exactly on the small of his yeah, back. Vote local. Vote local. <laughs> love mom. So Johnny, are we going to get a lot of shit for giving fat people shit? No, no, we don't mean any offense. I love fat people. We, I love fat. People. I love my people. As long as they stay at arm's length. You know? A lot of people, when I'm like, I'm fat. They're like, you're not fat. Well, maybe I'm king of the fats. Like the world's the tallest skinniest, midget. You're the world's skinniest fat. That's what I'm the world's skinniest fat guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny, thank you. You should, you, you should hang out with more fat people. You'd Johnny, would better. you say that's another Guinness Book of Guinness Records for me? No. That I'm the world's skinniest fat guy? No, I would not say that. Anything else, Johnny? Do I have voicemails? Uh, we do. If you want to do those now, we can. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. Do them. I got them right here. Okay. Uh, here we go. What's up, you cock-sucking, motherfucking, dick-licking, ball-sack-eating motherfuckers? <laughs> this is Bozy from Texas. Bozy. And for Sam, 
you cock sucking, dick eating, turd smelling. Now that's a nice voice. Doodle breath tapping, singing a song for your dumb ass. Keep doing what y'all doing, motherfuckers. You Bozy. dumb fuck. Yeah, that is I the like most Bozy. positive heckle ever, right? I mean, like a lot of aggression with, with a whole lot of positivity. I liked it. Yeah. Guy can sing too. Yeah, for sure. Next up. Hello, Johnny Woodard. Domo origato, Roboto Mysterio. Thought we forgot. We didn't. This is Pat Bowen, also known as Pat Nagalon. I think I forgot. Um, I wanted to go over a couple of things with you guys today. And, uh, um, real quick, stop. I wanted to speak on atrocities. Stop. And- I love how he's like, what's up, Johnny Woodard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, fuck. I want to talk to you guys. Oh, fuck you. Hey, I'm here too, man. You're a piece of shit. I'm here too. <laughs> Respect me. You know now that you made a deal of this, nobody's going to address you now. Uh, well, then maybe we'll get rid of voicemails <laughs> oh, on the show. Oh, he's making a threat. Go on. Play see how, they, see how the people respond said. to threats. Just know I have feelings too. <laughs> if you want to call us, uh, the number is... Six five seven three three nine one three three eight. That's the number. One atrocity I wanted to talk about. The, the main topic of discussion has to do with probably the greatest lie ever perpetuated on the global population, which is that a long time ago, England rounded up all of its scoundrels all of its criminals, all of its degenerates, and exiled them onto this island called Australia. You're saying that's not true? But what I found out is that's not the case. You see, what the English did was they rounded up all the people with good teeth and exiled them to Australia. And how do you get bad teeth, you say? Well, it's usually in breeding. Usually from these mother-loving sister fuckers fucking each other and their families, you know, breed just Children to breed. Listening, breed right? Listen to what to he breed said right there. Stop. That's how he he said, mother-loving sister fucking. Okay. Mother-fucking sister fuckers. Mother-loving sister, sister fucking fucker. fucking fuckers. Fuck. Sister fucking fuck. Hold on, let me run it back. <gasps> oh, fucking shit. M- mother loving. That's a lot of insults. Australia. And how do you get bad teeth, you say? Well, it's usually in breeding. Usually from these mother loving sister fuckers fucking each other. Oh, there we go. And their families, you know, breed. Mother loving sister So you're banging your mom and your sister. That's a lot. Mother That's going loving. deep. Well, no, you love your mom, yeah. but you're fucking your sister. Yeah. So your mom yeah. is like your yeah. one true, you know, your soulmate, yeah. and then your sister is your side piece. Yeah, but then do you come your sister's stepdad? Oh, that's tough. Good question. Don't like, know about that. Would you send your, your sister that you're having sex with to her bedroom if she's acting up? Send her to Australia, probably. Yeah, go on. Breeding just for breeding sake. That's how they do it. And speaking of atrocities, Sam, Johnny, I have the most fucked up joke that ever went across any airwave. It was on an internet radio show. That's not airwaves. But if you're interested, I can email it to Sam. Well, why can't That's you all say I got, it? Guys. Yeah, just say Peace, it. love, and hair grease. Bruh. Maybe okay. This is that was a great call. We, was it great was call. informative and a cliffhanger. That's the yeah. best kind of calls. Call back with the joke. Please. Outside the ba- outside of not saying hello to me. Yeah, that was rude. Yeah. So I mean, you were up for call of the year, and then you you ran right out the yeah, gate. You, you stumbled. You, you foiled it. All right. You foiled yourself. Remember. That. Boom, 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 boom. Hello, gang. Uh, okay. So I was listening Stop. to one of the newest Stop. episodes. No, it's uh, not. It's a different person. Wow. Does that sound like the exact same guy? That's the first guy. What yeah. is this? The man? Would you say that's the multiverse of of voicemails, or is it Mandela effect? Or they're is, all what different is... phone numbers. All right, let's go. Little hat, and you guys were talking about the deep state agenda, and you guys were talking about false flags and stuff like that. I was wondering if you guys had watched. Uh, the Mindy Robinson documentary, uh, Route 91, I think, whatever the Vegas shooting route was. But anyways, dozens and dozens of uh, 
interviews that the media magically left out of talking about line of sight shooters on the street level and Black Hawk helicopters circling around, FAA data of uh, helicopters that turn their transponders off, etc. Anyways, hope Sam is doing well with those big heavy legs. Thank Good you, night, buddy. Cleveland. Hey. I love this guy. Brings enthusiasm. So, fun fact I about seen that doc. That Mindy seen Robinson. Mindy Robinson and I were in a show called, in a movie called Live New Girls. She was playing a stripper in the show. Live Nude Girls. Live Nude Girls. You can look it up with Tara Ooh. Patrick. She's yeah. in it. Ooh, I know. If you you I want you want to go find that. the trailer, bro. I used to jerk off to that chick. Who Tara, Tara Patrick? Patrick? Yeah, dude, for sure. All the time, bro. Right. Live New Girls. See if that's it. Yeah. Whoa! It's almost been ten years. We're getting old. Yeah. I get off in an hour. Want to get off with me? Asa, Asa Kira, 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 Come on, lady, show me your wookie. <laughs> Nancy, don't call me that. Kind of like Michael call Kira. Kira. Dude, this place is awesome. Why do you leave it to you? What are you talking about? My uncle Ernie. He he left me the club. Uh, what? Twenty years wasn't enough. How did you get that you night rider? Shane the Wonder Boy. Look who's oh, wow. there. Holy. He's our manager. Just shake, move around, just dance a little. What's the big picture look like? Uh, looks a lot like the Titanic, post iceberg. You got a carpe double dia. I try not to have sex with more than one person that I work with at a time. No, 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 no. Drink up, baby. It's showtime. Listen up. The show's over. You shut this place down, there goes your last chance on earth to see a woman naked. We have three days to raise the money we owe. Our future is in your G-string. Like, All uh, these girls are porn stars. Oh. This, this trailer took a little too long to get to. Well, Shut up, dude. Happen. Let him dance. We could have done without the... Parmar Superstar. I am the next oh, your phase in orgasm. That was then a green screen right there. So the funniest thing... <sighs> Look at that's this. This her. That's so Mindy clearly... Robinson. Now, here's the well, thing. I don't know who Mindy Robinson is. Let me give Mindy a, a compliment. Is she a porn actor? No, she's an actress who has like a porn... At the time, had a porn star's body. And... She's lovely. She was greatness. She crushed it. She blew Andy Dick out of the water. Oh boy, yeah, and- I'm glad you finished that sentence. I was about to say. She was so funny in this scene, and he couldn't follow her. And it was like, this is when I learned about like the train wreck that is Andy Dick. Have I told you my Andy Dick story yet? No. So Andy Dick, and then I'll get back to the Mindy story, okay? So Andy, I, so I get called to do a show for... Uh, autism right they're like hey man uh we love we want you to do a cleaner version of the naughty show for this autistic event and i was like okay they're like yeah you know burlesque and stand up i'm like perfect dude i forget who the comics were but there were three comics mindy Rob- i'm sorry i just got distracted looking at uh mindy robinson yeah 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 she's super hot she i don't know if she, she go would. out with randy couture i should shut the fuck up then i don't know if she still is okay let's hope not right so and then she, there's yeah. some weird pictures with her but anyways don't, so don't i'll finish me. the mindy story okay but let me finish saying dick so i get called and they're like hey man uh we want you to do naughty show uh Put some burlesque, burlesque dancers together, and I knew like the number one burlesque dancing troupe. Wait, so you couldn't do it? Porn stars? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, they did. Well, porn oh, stars at the, uh, the so fundraiser funny. for autism. Yeah, that's so funny. Right. So uh, they they do this show, and, and so like two weeks out, they're like, "Hey, man, we got big news." I'm like, "What?" They're like, uh, "Guess who we got for the show?" I'm like, well, "What do you mean you got somebody for a show?" They're like, "Yeah, we booked a comic." I go, "Who?" They go, "Andy Dick." I go, "Listen to me, man. You do not want Andy Dick in this show. He is a train wreck, and he'll take us all down with him." Well, we kind of need a name. You need to listen to me. You need to not have Andy Dick on the show. <laughs> And he's like, we got, nope. And then everything worked out wonderfully, right? Okay. So the day shows up. I'm like, okay, hopefully I didn't get Andy Dick. In walks Andy Dick, his guitar player, his guitar player's autistic brother. Why does Andy Dick have a guitar player? Because he's going to sing songs. I didn't, is he a musical act? I didn't know that. He was going to, yeah, he's singing songs. Does he, 
That was his stand up. Was a music? I yeah, thought he just did yeah. stand up. No, he was a he, dude. He doesn't even do. He's the only part of stand up that he does is literally standing up while he does it. That's it. But he was always a musical because I feel like I've just seen him do like jokes. That's it. No, he was doing. He was singing songs. Really. So I forget the lineup and who was up. I guess I've only really seen him on roast. So, so he he was going up. He's doing. He, he, so it was his. And I'm like, dude, I can't believe you guys brought Andy Dick. It's gonna be a train wreck. And what he was doing, just doing time, or he was he was gonna so be one of the like performers. I was the host. Okay. I, I Johnny, let me take that back because I just committed a war crime against my career by calling me a host. I'm a masters of ceremonies. I am not yeah. an MC. I am not a host. I am master I don't of ceremonies. Master cere of ceremonies is short for MC. It's M yeah, and but, C, but I don't no, no, no. But that. I am master of ceremonies. Okay. I take the. I, so we I, have to say that full thing yes, every time. I do not. Right. I'm not MC. So I can't abbreviate it. I'm master it of ceremonies. Okay. Okay. It's a weird thing to get hung on for instead of letting me well, say. What MC. you got to understand, Johnny, is What I, about if I say master of C? Can I just say that? No. What master about, of ceremonies. What about M of ceremonies? Nope. Okay. Nope. Shit. Master of ceremonies. I'll tell you why. Because people have tried to steal my projects all the time and they try to do my projects without me and they all crash and burn. What's that got to do with MC? Master because team? I'm a big part of the show, Johnny. Oh, okay. Okay? I'm one of these rare guys I can, oh, I can master ceremonies the show, and I can close the show. I'm versatile. All right? So anyways, so I'm the master of ceremonies for this sold-out event. I mean, it's Where huge. Where was it? I, like Fullerton or somewhere like that. So Gareth Reynolds there, and I forgot who the other comedians were, but it was like Gareth Reynolds and one other, two other comics, a female comic, and I don't know who the rest was, but Gareth Reynolds was there. So Andy Dick goes up. They don't have a guitar mic, mic stand. They don't have a guitar mic stand for the guy to put the guitar yeah. in front of um, acoustic guitar and he yeah, needs the mic. Yeah, right, yeah, they don't have it. They don't know what to do. So I, master of ceremonies. Go, I'll hold the mic oh, gosh. <laughs> in front of the guitar on stage, sacrificing my time down to breathe, smoke cigarettes, sling dick at chicks, yeah. all that good stuff that you do while people are on and stage. And just like any ability to look cool at all. And he, I'm in the middle of the storm, Johnny. I'm on stage so with Andy Dick. Okay? How many minutes is he supposed to do? Ten. Ten, okay. Wow. About ten minutes too long. <laughs> okay, so so this is true. Are there children there, or it's just adults running around? Oh no, everybody's there. What a bad hand idea. to God! He's up there. He does a song. It goes good. Then he starts, dude. And this is like, it's insane. He starts talking about autistic kids and calls them retards. He goes, you know these little retards. Dude, you know these little retards. Bro, you would think, dude, it is literally the equivalent of Trump going on stage at the BET Awards and dropping N bombs in the middle of the award yeah, show. Of course. A riot breaks out really? in the middle of the, the event. People are crying. Dudes want to fight him, they want to beat him up. Security has to surround him <laughs> to get him out. This is so funny. Gareth Reynolds has to follow that. Are you guys laughing? No, well, dude, I was like, I was like, oh, dude, that, that, that I, what I was like, it's like, oh, no, I'm on stage. That's why I thought he's like, oh, no, he did not say that. What, the poor oh, guitar guy. Oh, no, I'm on stage. Why he said that? That dude. guitar player seen some and shit. And listen, by dude, the I, 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 uh, I don't, I don't like that he said that. I, it's a big uh, reason yeah, why yeah. I don't like saying the R word, yeah, yeah. even though I've said it five times today. Yeah. I try, I'm really trying to wee myself off it, and I, my heart goes out to of anybody course. whose family has to deal with that. Of and course. I know this is like a comedy show, but it's it's rough. Of course, yeah. And my heart goes out to any of those and people. Also to any fags in the audience listening. <laughs> <laughs> Throw heart. it out. <laughs> Andy Dick making you look bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what what that guitar guy? He must have some stories, huh? Oh, that poor fuck. 
Oh my oh, god! Can you imagine being Andy Dick's fucking? It just must be. He, he's Chaos. just like, oh, another day. All right, Chaos. Let me pack and then up. you know, Andy Dick was always running around with a young guy. He's introducing him as his kid, but you know, he's like fucking getting weird with him. Oh, and the poor kids like thinking this is gonna lead to some kind of fame. Yeah. And Andy Dick is like leading you to nowhere but back alley anal trauma and shit like that. <sighs> what did how poor Gareth? What how did that work? Oh, he just, dude, you can't follow. That's yeah. like trying to do stand up. You just gotta kind of talk about it. Right? That's like trying to do stand up after the jam. JFK assassination, like on the street, yeah. trying to make people laugh. What do you do? Just talk shit about Andy Dick? Basically? No, I mean, like he tried to do his act. Well, you can't even <laughs> refer to it because it's re-traumatizing the situation. Yeah. What would you do? You got to just talk about Andy Dick, though, right? Like what a piece of shit he is. Yeah. You, I mean, I would go up there, pile through. I shit on Andy Dick. I'd yeah. tell him what an idiot he is. And then I would try to do a couple. But I would co be completely in the mindset that I just got to get through the 10 minutes. I'm not going to do anything. I probably... No fixing that. No, there's no... I mean, like... Survive it, but no, you can't fix it. So there's a famous... How did your set go at the end? I always crush. Even after all that? Huh? I that's, always that's crush. So I'm a crusher. I'm a crusher. It was crazy. That's so funny, though. Uh, Johnny, be honest with you, it was traumatizing when it happened. Really? Yeah. It was, like, really, like... Like it's like weird to watch people okay, like just so what, we're, melting we're, down we're in like sadness. Three degrees down now. I'm trying to get back to the surface. We're on to Mindy. So, Robinson. which brings us back to Mindy. So Mindy does a show, uh, and I just know her from the show. And like, the girl could pole dance. Like she was a great pole dancer. Well, yeah, I'm looking here at some situations like that. Well, you see her massage picture that she has with her big chi chis that said I'm just her massage saying, uh, shirt. I'm Put just, Mindy Robinson massage shirt. I'll show you what I'm seeing. I'm, uh, this is not going to be on the feet. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, right that's there. from my show. That's yeah. from my movie. That's from my movie. Oh, yeah. Well, her boobs are out. Right? And they're huge. Which is fine. I her. don't care. It's all good. No, no. It's all good. It's all great. Oh, dude, that's look at that. Go down. That is... Um, is that you? Oh, that's you. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is me. We can't show this, but Sam is behind a woman, uh, Mindy Robinson, exposing herself. Uh, and Sam is looking like a creep in the background. So what happened between Mindy and I was that I asked her to do... The whole reason I was on this movie is because these guys thought I could help them get all these adult film stars for them. And... And look at that shirt. It's so weird that she wears that shirt, right? It's so... It's a massage shirt. It's a, what does it say? It's never an... Accident. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine wearing that shirt and be like, I'm patriotic, oh, right? She's got a, The shirt has got a Star of David with Mossad written on it, and it, below that it says it's never an accident. Right? It's so weird. But I can't tell. Is she promoting Mossad? I know the story saying, behind that, and I don't want to get into it. Okay. But... But so, Masad got like you Sam. see how the pictures I have with her are just whipping out her tits and everything. Yeah, it seems like an awesome person. So, so I, great, I'm doing the naughty show, which is why I've been at, I, I'm asked to be in that show. I go and I have Mindy's number. I'm like, hey, Mindy, what's up? Hey, do you want to come on my um my my uh podcast, the naughty show, dude? She texts me back. Why? So I can be on there with fucking porn stars? <laughs> so freaking gross. What do you think I am? Are you serious? Uh, dude, she fucking went nuts on me. What an asshole. And we, uh, we've never talked ever since. And then, then, then that picture comes out. And then the stuff with the, uh, with, uh, this, everyone's like, you watch her thing. I'm like, I'm not watching any of that. It's like, I, listen, dude, I don't care if you get filthy. All right? It's not my thing. You do whatever you want. As long as you don't hurt people, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't know. Right? I don't, I don't judge any that. of them. My friend, I have friends who are adult film stars. I don't judge any of these people. Well, women, there's some some women, and I don't know if it's women that grew up religious or conservatively, but they get offended by it. You know what I mean? Like they have that snap, like, like, are you comparing me to a fucking slut? Yeah, like when you're whipping your tits out in a sh in a in a TV show, yeah. which is fine. I'm not judging it, but it's like. You're doing a certain act, right? Yeah, it's like those women on, which, uh, have you heard now? I was thinking about the women on Game of Thrones, you know, that started saying they didn't like doing all that nudity or whatever, and I'm like, okay. What? Yeah, but See, do you know now they have to have on sets, whenever they have sex scenes, they have somebody 
it's like a new job they've created, and I'm sure they're unionized now and everything, called an intimacy coordinator. Yeah. And it's somebody who comes in and gets waivers signed and talks to everybody separately and is like, Hey, okay. No, so listen. She's okay with you touching her here and yeah, here and yeah. here. Get out of here. You can't touch her here. Get I mean, it's this uh, whole this thing. This is why I don't want anything to do with Hollywood. And they, and they come in right before the scene starts, you know, and I'm sure the directors must love this. And they go, Listen, now you know, even though they've spent all this money, you can back out at any time. We can just cut this scene right out. They tell them all that right before they do the scene, you know, in case you're empowering one. crazy. It's That's so what you're crazy. doing. You're inviting nuts. Intimacy coordinator. It's so stupid. Like, God bless anyone who has a job, but it's like, it's just stupid. And you know what was so great about Game of Thrones is they went and got porn stars from Europe yeah. to do the early ones. And then, of course, HBO, who's being ran by an idiot, had to come in and flip that all out and then get like, people are like, oh my God. Ah, you know, and just like, oh, I'm, I'm a serious ex. It's like, come on, man. That one chick that played Tyrion's uh, prostitute girlfriend. Yeah, she was like a big German porno. The redhead? Actor. No, no, no. Well, maybe the redhead, but the which the one? Dark... The one got hit with all the arrows. Remember, like, yeah, he... yeah, yeah. I don't think she. I think she was just an actor. But oh yeah, uh, yeah. I know who you're talking the about. One that, I mean, she kind of looks like a yeah. Kind of yeah. a little weird in the yeah. face, but I thought she was cute. But you anyway. remember, dude, they'd have straight up fuck. Like you remember when he was coming over on a boat and he banged that chick oh, in the yeah, bottom yeah. of the boat. I'm like, yeah. and you're yeah. like, this is rock and roll. Sure. That show, dude, that show had a higher high than any other show, maybe. Well, yeah, that and then the like lower low. Then, where yeah, have all? Dark. Where have those guys gone? Oh yeah, well, dude, that they remember they were gonna make that show Confederate, which was about an alternate history, this dark future where the Confederates won the Civil War. Are Which, they doing the dragons thing? No, no, no. That they got other people. House of for the that? Dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Dude, my god. But that god. Confederate thing sounded like a great idea to me. But then all these fucking BLM people got up in arms like, what, you wanna imagine a future where the South won? And the whole idea was it was supposed to be the shitty future, you know, and, and showing like the it's like, you know, people it's like people who take jokes, literally, like yeah. what comedians say yeah. on stage. Like, yeah. oh, you mean that? Yeah. When clearly it's a joke. It's the yeah. same thing. They thought I that agree. they were glamorizing, you know. People are just stupid. The Civil War or whatever the fuck, which I don't have a problem with it. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the Mindy story. Do we have anything else? Or should I keep going? Got distracted. Yeah, you always uh, I mean, that. no, I got, I got news is all I got left. I have a long story. Should I save it? What is it? Yeah, go on. Do it. It's a Hollywood story. Do it. And you already teased it. We got to do it. I it, saw the Thor movie, by the way, Love and Thunder. Not great. It, it's okay. Well, no, dude. Like, Marvel's in a place where they got to determine whether they want to keep going down this, this road. Okay? Or Well, what happened is they got this weird idea that Natalie Portman is a comedic actress and that she's funny at all. Yeah. And even my girlfriend after was like, Dude, those jokes that Natalie Portman tried to do were just not. Well, she was not funny. Johnny, she's not a funny person. It's what Hollywood's trying to do, which is like, there's no such thing as artistic talent. Anyone could do it. That's yeah. what they're trying to do. Yeah. They're trying to show you that you don't have talent. I don't have talent. Nobody has talent. We can all do it, and it doesn't matter. Like when you try to make Tom Hanks a stand-up comedian in a movie, for instance. Remember that fucking yeah, Sally yeah, Field? Yeah. Tom okay, Hanks. John, I'm going to tell these stories. Go on. So, so... Ryan and I always do a walk twice a week. OTT we call Ryan off the grid. Yeah, we call it the a raccoon and possum walk. Okay, we're we're raccoon and possum. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't even know. One day he's just like it's the raccoon and possum walk, and then sometimes we'll take Roger depending on if he's been out or not, and which is super dangerous because people are jacking pugs, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me. Yeah, I'm walking around with a there. fucking. I I don't worry. I'm I, 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 I'm protected, doc. I told my mom about that actually. That woman that came up to you. Yeah, and she uh, yeah, it's so crazy. Anyways, so we're walking. Then we're walking down and like people, crazy people, and like like first of all, Ryan likes to take pictures with the weirdest people at ever ever. Wait, what? And, Ryan just likes a to picture take, with strangers. Yeah, he just he's like, hey, dude, can we take a picture? I'm like, dude, what are you doing, bro? So, like, this guy walks by in a mask, literally a dare devil. He was a deer that was a devil, and that was his mask. Deer. Deer, as in Bambi, devil. 
I wonder if he's doing a play on like Dare Daredevil. Dare, Maybe, Dare, dude. But Daredevil. all I know is like uh, Ryan asked him to take a picture, and as soon as he's done, he's like, "Yeah, I need five bucks." Ryan's like, "I don't gotta go." Ryan. Oh, is he supposed to be a character? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. He's just a random guy walking around, but, and like, then after you take a picture with him, like, he wants money from you. But is he down there on Hollywood Boulevard with the the characters? Those people. The guys walking around with a Daredevil mask. No, but I'm on. asking you, is he near near like Superman and Batman and all that shit? Or when is- when we took a picture, he wasn't there, but he could have been walking from there. Okay. But they all just Daredevil. want pictures. For five bucks. You're like, what? What character are you, he, Daredevil? Did, did he look homeless? No, he looked like a deer devil. <laughs> and he had a backpack on, I don't even which know makes me think you're shady, right? If it's like 11 at night and you got walk around with a backpack yeah, on, yeah, what I'm you, assuming you're drug dealing at that point. You're not studying. Yeah, right? Or, what are you studying at 11? Yeah, Library's yeah. closed. Library's closed. Right? So we get in this argument. He's like, dude, five bucks. I'm like, just give him the five bucks. So, Johnny, you remember when there was a time when there were laws that people had to follow? Yeah, it's been a while, so I kind of, I mean, it's a distant memory, There's no laws I, anymore. No. Like, you remember when you, like, you couldn't jack off in, in public? <laughs> like, back in the day, you'd have to find, like, a bush to jack off in. Yeah, Those days yeah. are done. Pounding your meat in the middle of Hollywood Boulevard, totally acceptable. Totally that. acceptable. I've seen one of those, yeah. So, I don't know what it takes to get cops to show up. Oh, they don't give a fuck, dude. Okay, so I'll get no. into this. Ryan and I are walking, right? We're, we're walking down the street, okay? Shout out, Ryan. Shout out off the grid. This guy is laying down this homeless dude. And I'm like, he's like doing this thing. I'm like, what is he doing? You always got to be on the alert. Yeah. You never know when shit's going to get crazy. Maybe they come after your pug. Maybe like. Come after you. After you. So we look down. He's doing this, dude. Right? He's just Can doing I, this on the ground. Uh-huh. I'm like, but what is he to doing? himself or just out? His I, arm is on out. On the side, on the ground. Okay. I look down. Hand to God. He is chopping up. The biggest line of crystal meth oh. I've ever seen in my life. Johnny, it was an iceberg size crystal. I mean, like, dude, when I tell you. On what, the ground? On the ground. <laughs> and you're like, how's this homeless guy afford all the crystal meth? It's all the crystal meth in Hollywood. <laughs> it was right there. This dude is chopping it. How much up. is that worth? Dude, I mean, it's so funny. I like, I, I told you stories where I got robbed. I buy like forty dollars worth. They give me a nugget. This it had to be like that, Johnny. It had to be that. But much. what, hundreds of dollars? Is that what hundreds of dollars. I don't know where this guy got hundreds of dollars worth of crystal meth with the money to buy that much crystal. But he is chopping it up right in the middle of the fucking street. And he, Ryan was like, you. He's like, he's doing it off the ground. That's dirty. I'm like, dude, he's about to put Drano up his nose. <laughs> Do you think he cares about dust? And where are the cops? Nowhere. People just walking over him, not caring. Dude, I'm not lying to you when it was an iceberg level of crystal meth. This dude is never going to sleep again, ever. He's never sleeping <laughs> Did you watch again. him? Did you watch him do it? No, dude. I'm like, I, I, dude. Is I that mean, triggering for you? Do you get like weird feelings in your body? You know what? You I was that? thinking about that, going, hey, man, do I want to do that? And that, that makes me want to do it less. But does it get, you hear about like uh, coke addicts that they... Or when people who did intravenous heroin, like when they see IV drug use, it like it gives them like the willies almost. You, you know what? It? it doesn't anymore. I, I there was a time where I would like constantly relapse on drugs when I would see people that I know I did drugs with, and then I'd try to see that if they would do drugs with me. But I don't do that anymore, mm. and I, I'm so blessed. And who knows? Tomorrow I could relapse. That that is. Yeah, that's, you only got 24 that's hours. Your right? Terms with yourself, right? Yeah. Right, but. Man, seeing that, I'm like, get out of here, dude. I'm not. And the, the the real thing is like, there. You know, it's like we kind of talked about in Tim Fall Hat today. There's nothing outlaw anymore. There's nothing that you gotta do, and you might get in trouble for doing it anymore, right? No. What is it? I mean, I can't think of it. Yeah. I, dude, I don't know. So this is a true story, Johnny. And this is a story that we'll get into our final story. So I get I I have to get dog food for. The dogs. I, I get done with my kids. I drop them off. I'm driving to, and I go to uh, this this store that's near my house. It's a, um, it's one of those high price store. I, I I don't like to go there. I just know that they have the particular dog food yeah. that we want for our dog. Gelson's. 
Right, yeah. Gelson's yeah. isn't it's really expensive nice. It's shit. a little yeah. more expensive, but it's the only one that has the dog food near me. So I have to go there to get the the specific dog food that's really good. You for go to that one on Santa Monica down on Santa Monica? No, I go to the one on uh, 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 Franklin. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't know. Well, this one it does either. matter for this story. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Franklin's up in a hairier neighborhood. Yeah. So I uh, I go in, I grab, I feel bad because I grab all the cans of the dog food. Like, I feel like I'm like a scumbag that's taking all the toilet they paper. They'll bring more. Right? So I grab like five cans of dog food, two bags, and I grab it. I get in. So I go back to my car, right? I get in my car, and I'm, a, I, 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 so I, I pull, I, I kind of, uh, I, 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 I'm back, I, I pull in so that the entrance or the exit is behind me. I have to back up, turn around, and go. And by the way, you know I hate people that back into parking spots. It's annoying, yeah. Yeah, there's a special place in hell for you, yeah. okay? Especially if, when people if are waiting. And, like, hey, if there's multiple lives, you're going to come back blowing donkeys in Tijuana. That's where you're going due to backs up into parking spots, okay? Those people got, like, extra credit on their side. I, I'm, I, I will fight you! All right. It's annoying. It's annoying. So I, I won't do that. I'll just pull in and then do my back up and go. And I go to turn around. Johnny, there's a cop car rate right the entrance. Hand to God. Cop car. Cop runs around, opens the back, gets out a shotgun. Oh, shit. And it's a green shotgun. Green. It's green. I don't know why it's green, but it's green. It must be like, oh, I bet a green shotgun is like a non-lethal projectile or green something like that. Green shotgun. Calls it, looks down. I go, what the fuck is going on? Now, this is happening in a very special yeah, part. Green or orange shotguns are used for less lethal ammo. So there you like, go. Yeah. So he's got a green shotgun. I'm like, what is going on? I don't know that it's non lethal. I think that's a shotgun. Yeah, of course. I mean, they I'm look like, exactly the same. I'm like, danger's happening, and th- I got to see what's going what on. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, I'm every did white. Did you pull back in, or did you not start to pull out? Yet? Oh, no, dude. I pulled up beside them oh. <laughs> to see what they were looking at. Now, just as so though you know where we are. He's out of the car with a green shotgun. He, him and his. Co- his his it was a white guy and like a Filipino guy. Is cop. he like drawn down on something? Is he pointing at something? Yeah. Okay. And of course, I drive right down to see what's going on because I put my life on the line for this podcast. <laughs> it, really, were you thinking about that in that moment? Uh, one hundred like, oh, percent. Uh, can I? Th- no, let me tell you why I did it. And I, I, let me just tell you, I really did it because I'm like, if some, let me. I didn't know what was going on, so I just wanted to pull up because I'm like every white person. You better hope the the life insurance people don't hear this. It's oh okay. yeah, this guy's we're never okay. insuring him. So so this thing's going on. Uh, right, you know where it is on Franklin's, where that Bird's restaurant is, and where the Scientology castle is. Do you oh, know yeah. where that yeah, is? I know exactly where this is. Yeah. Can you look that up real quick? The Franklin Scientology castle. Scientology castle. Yeah, if you don't live here the in LA, one, right? just know that Scientology has a castle. The blue Which, one, right? The blue. No, blue. no, 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 no. That's oh, the, oh, the one near the Magic Castle, like, like the one on Franklin. That's near the magic. Put castle. Franklin Scientology. The Celebrity cast. Center is what yes, you're talking about. Yes. The yeah. Celebrity Center, okay. it's called. And by the way, uh, if you're trying to convince people you're not a cult, this could be the worst building to have. Like you're trying to tell everybody you're not shady and you have Dracula's Castle as your headquarters. Like it's so I think it's got like a fancy name too. It's like Chateau. It's something. so it's so celebrity center, yeah. It's so and that the Yep, that's it. So right here, Johnny, oh, go yeah, back to that. Too. Go back to that. So uh, it's in front of the Scientology. Oh, yeah, we camp. can go right to Gelson's if you want to. Wait, where is? Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. going this way, Keep right? going, keep going, keep going. I love this shit right here. Yeah. This, they yeah. have this in VR now where you can, like, explore anywhere in the world because yeah. they've already scanned it. Yeah, yeah. There's Gelson's. So way. I'm I'm pulling out right here. No, right go, here? go, go. Okay. No, I'm pulling way. up up there. Okay. Up there. Okay, right there. I'm pulling up out of there. Okay, cop cars right there. Okay. Cop cars pulled out, guys run around, Locking got the, the shotgun out, right? They got the shotgun out. They're staring down the street. And I pull up. I'm like, what the fuck is going They're on They're staring here? this way? They're sta- No, the other way, okay. towards the so, Scientology castle. All right. Right down there. And you're right here. I'm pulling out, going around them. And right. I look down. Johnny, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is this black guy walking backwards with a tsunami of cops coming at him, marching slowly down towards him. 
And when I tell you a tsunami, brother, I have never seen this many cops moving at once together. Why this guy is walking backwards with what looks in his hand to be somewhere between a coat hanger and a tire iron. And I'm like, oh, this is another homeless guy. But okay. So I go, dude, he's right where that white car is facing us. This one. That one? He's right there. He's is he walking that way? And he's or walking this way? backwards with his back to us. Oh, because he's walking toward us, right? Yes. Here. Okay. No, he's walking towards us backwards. Yeah, right. But oh, he's getting closer to us. Yes. Yeah, okay. So I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And this might be a good story for the podcast. <laughs> so I rush up right there, dude, right there. He's r over just and a little bit, but he's this walking this way. Johnny, I'm not lying to you. What I tell you, it was from here to here of all cops. From here to here is what you're saying. All cops, right? I mean, the entire street of Franklin was stopped by cops. Coming this way. How far are they from him? Like, what, 20 feet, something like that, 15 feet? I, I would say from right here to right there. What do you think that is? Uh, I don't know, like 10, 15 yards. It's yeah. Whatever. They have this number that they're, they're supposed to stay yeah. that far away cause, so the guy can't get your gun or whatever. And you so can fire I'm him. there. Scientology cops are on the corner. Scientology, right? They have their own cops? Oh, yeah. You can see the entrance for the Scientology. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. that green shit yeah, you were talking yeah, about right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, oh, my God. So I drive around before they lock down the, the street because I got to get home. I got to get feed my dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that can happen. You can be like, oh, shit, I got to get the fuck out of here before this gets shut down. I'm like, man. I got to get out of here. So I'm like, I could go that way or I could see what's really going on and drive right into it. So I drive all the way to right here. I'm in You're the crazy. middle of the fucking intersection with this black guy walking backwards. Now, are the police like, sir, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> the assholes were. Who were the assholes? Bike cops. Oh, yeah. Bike cops are like, hey, get on the Bell Street. I roll down my window, Johnny. I start trying to hostage negotiate with this guy. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, get down. Get down. Is he acknowledging you? He's he not acknowledging me. I'm like, bro, get down. You, this doesn't have to get bad. Just get down. Live another day. And I was going to go film it because I didn't think you guys were going to believe me. But I thought if I lift my camera up, someone might get trigger happy and I'm going to get shot. Yeah, that's a good thought. I literally was like, dude, if I take this picture, Johnny's going to be mind blown by what he saw. Johnny, <laughs> I've never seen. The tension was so crazy, dude. It was one guy, and I thought maybe he'd be a homeless guy. Wasn't, dude. Not homeless, though. Anyway. No. I, he had, he ever, I call it broccoli head. You ever see where they I have like yeah. kind of dreads, yeah. but they're like knots in a weird yeah, way? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And he had like what looked like a like physical Robbie trainer Anderson. workout gear. Nike shoes kind of with a nice workout gear. Might have been Robbie Anderson. I don't know, man, but he was freaking out screaming at them. And I was just like, get what down. What was he screaming? Did you hear? No, because I, I was in fight or flight mode. I was going to survive, but I also wanted to this save the so day. This is so interesting. I can't. Okay. What? That part of you thought like I'm gonna use my interpersonal skills. Yes, to to defuse yeah. the moment. Uh -huh, yeah, and they were all gonna be thanking you like, dude, thanks. Bro. And then I just look and there's cops with guns and I'm in the line of fire. <laughs> the hand to God, I was like, dude, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And bike cops are rolling up on me. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! I'm like, oh, dude, you're on a bike, bitch. I don't listen to Huffy's dog. But then I thought I was gonna get. I really wanted to film it because I didn't think you would believe me. <laughs> but it was the most insane that dude, uh, dude, police helicopters everywhere. Dude, it was so nuts. And I tried to help. And I'm like, Johnny, cops don't come. What's this guy do? Probably misgendered somebody, right? He probably <laughs> yeah, yeah, misgendered yeah, yeah. someone. Yeah, it depends on was he over the border in West Hollywood? Yeah, it, it was crazy, bro. And I finally got out and I got home. But uh, so I went around. I went around and they, and more bike cops are showing. Big cops are coming out of everywhere, dude. Well, dude, they they're nobody is better at overkill than police. I than think LAPD. Too. Most of them are like bored, you know. They're like doing their thing. When they hear some shits popping somewhere, they're all like, "Let's go, motherfucker!" But Johnny, it's like I've always said, LAPD are different because like everywhere you go out, everywhere else you go, the cops are tend to be huge, like meatheads, right? Like they tend to be big guys. You know, yeah, it depends, but yeah, yeah. In LA, they need cops 
They'll take anybody, bro. Yeah, a lot of little Mexican guys, yeah. Tiny Mexicans, like Oompa Loompas, are regulating out in L.A. all the time. It was crazy, dude. I'm like, what did this guy do that all these fucking cops showed up? And so it's probably, dude, that's like the least interesting thing to happen in L.A. on any night. You know, there's just like so much crazy shit going on that... They probably didn't even make the news, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, Johnny. That's wild, go. dude. <laughs> That's some, what were you thinking, man? That's I, dude, something. I was just like, dude, I, I, you I really wa- thought you were going to bring him, to, like, he's going to be like, oh, you know I'm what? like, get down, dude. Are it's you, not worth it. Just live the fight what, another you, you, day. You know what, bro? You're right, man. I'm just going to put this hanger down. And- I know. I'm sure that's what he wants is our Armenian guy talking him down. I wanted to film it so badly, Johnny, just you, so you, you could see. You were white explaining to him. Yeah, he's white explaining. <laughs> so that's um, it, Johnny. Those are my stories of the week. All right, let's do some news. News, 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 news. Here's a video of a Twitch streamer. This was just something from over our little break that I thought was hilarious. Did you see this? Oh, yeah, I love this. This is so good. This guy is uh, sitting next to his bed, and he's got a little, like, sparkler fireworks. Ah! 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 <laughs> see, I think he's acting a little bit, but then yeah, it really starts course. to get crazy. And it gets real crazy. Ah! 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 See, no, I'll tell you what. I think this is fake. Because look at this. He's got all these fireworks sitting around here. Those are fireworks right there. That's like black powder, basically. This right here, too. I think he's maybe re- set this up to look. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that's getting real. Though. I mean, look at that. Dude. <laughs> I mean... What is that? Like a Pikachu thing? Oh, my God. Oh, my oh, God. Oh my God! Dude, that's fireworks right there. He's so lucky he oh didn't God, just mama. burn his whole house. Mama, mama, mama. Oh my God! No, he can't put that on top of it. That's fireworks, dude. Okay, that was real. Fire. This guy's no, 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 no. Oh my God! Is it a fire? No, at, it's not. It's not. At first, it's not. It's not. What the fuck is your? Wait, 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 right, dude. Go- what happened? What happened? Okay, th- no. Here's what happened. He was thinking it's chill at first, and I'm going to get some views. And then he's thinking, I'm fucked. I need to call my mom for help. Yeah. Like re- and then when he realized he had it under control, he's like, fuck, I don't want my mom coming yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Right. And yeah, then he's like, no, yeah. it's not. A-. And she's like, it's a fire. It's not a fire. Yeah, but how many of these? Like, dude, I think he. there is some truth to what happened in this video. There is. Yeah, uh, it, I think it he went was, a little more than harder. I think he than tried he to do. I think at first he started trying to act it up. Me too. To yeah. get views. Yeah. For sure. And then it got a little crazy. I, 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 didn't, know, I didn't know. I didn't know. I oh thought, my God. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Turn that stream out. I didn't. Oh Turn that stream out. I'm with you, man. I beat the crap out of my kid. I didn't know. I kid. thought it was the popping ones, Mom. Oh, my fucking God. Dude, I would lose it if my kid did that. Dude, I would lose it. Imagine if you lost everything because your kid's so dumb to do fireworks inside. He could have burned the fucking house. Like, how man. dumb is that? That's idiotic. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Did you see... Uh, I posted this. I went and got some fireworks for my nephew uh, to see, and I just want to show you some of these funny labels. Flaming balls. It's 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 clearly they're all made in China by people who don't really speak English. Yeah. And like kind of like things that they think yeah. are funny yeah. English. Right. Look at this one. This one's just hashtag best firework. Well, dude, Johnny. That- Wait, listen, Pharaonic. It's just the pharaoh, whatever well, that is. Well, how about this? You ever just drive around, you see like a billboard and it says, number one lawyer, 2020. Like, number, what does that mean? Just a phone number? Yeah. Dude, did I tell you my yeah. favorite ad in Vegas was like a, 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 a one of the uh, billboards or outside a on the, on the marquee of a hotel said, uh, highly recommended by owner. And then the other <laughs> one said, free porn. And you're like, what? right? It's like, who needs free porn? We have a phone now. Right, but highly recommended by owner is the most hilarious advertisement <laughs> ever. How That's about that? You know what would be even funnier is if it said owner gives three out of four stars. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be way That's funnier, funnier, dude. Yeah, that's way funnier. That's better writing for sure. You should have you should have punched up his uh, billboard. Um, Saturday night special, which is just a bunch of little, uh, you know, Saturday night special pistols. Yeah, that's right. Brothers heavyweights. Look at this one is just all mob themed, yeah, uh, fireworks, yeah. crime scene, inside job, turf war, blood money. That is so funny. Inside uh, job. Hold on. Oh, there, there are more. Um, this one is just called super stock car. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a picture of a stock car. Um, 
Hit these the are, road, Jack. Dude, you're totally right. This Pyro is, pirate. These are Chinese people trying to write for Americans. That's right? it. Dude. They have and they have no understanding of they really what the think words mean. All we do is watch NASCAR, eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, yep. dude, and it, just they, everyone. They, they get better. Uh, flipping out, which is just a pair of flip flops. That's all it is, and some feet. Like these are all free images. And they by got the from way, Google. they all say "warning, flaming balls." <laughs> the force. That one's just called. Look at the that. Force. Shoots flaming balls. Yeah, that's, they're great. Total gossip. This one's called. Oh, that's what does that bad. even mean? Total gossip, and it's just got a bunch of words. Like, look at these words: multicolored, <laughs> brothers. <laughs> oh my god! Orange. <laughs> Dude, Heavyweight. this is literally an AI made it, this. Yeah, it is. That's what it's like, dude. That Survivor, and it's just that. Cla- See, these are all royalty-free images, you know. So it's this old, like, <laughs> women's lib. You know, the the strong woman thing. Now, Johnny, migraine. You- this was just called <laughs> migraine. <laughs> now, let me ask you something, Johnny. Fuck? Can you tell which which of the fireworks were selling and which weren't? Yeah, by how many were left. Yeah. Right. So are any of these selling? Is Mind Grain selling any fucking... Some were. Yeah, I can. I will remember when we get to one that was like really sold out. Uh, oh. pro- probable cause, which is just like... What did? What do you think? What do you think they do? Do they just Google like, what are we, what are we Googling? Is that what they do? It's got to be What popular. do Americans Google? It's popular search phrases, yeah. And it's like, I think this is around that crime theme, you know? They're yeah, looking this for, like, is the AI theme. just going... Dude, and even you know it's art. all from the same place. Everything shoots flaming balls. You got to go into one of these places. By the way, I was in South Carolina. Is it twenty? Is it three six five every yeah. day? Oh no, midnight is when they close. But but hold on, does it go every day? Can I like in year October? Round. Yeah, it's year round. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's America, but, see, bro. North Carolina, Georgia, all the states that border South Carolina have restrictions on fireworks except South Carolina. So you can basically own like a tactical yeah, nuke right, right, in South right, Carolina. Right, yeah. And so the borders of all those states have fireworks, just like stores, like superstores. There was on either side of I-95, this same company owned two giant Walmart-sized fireworks places. And you go in there and you just hear, because they have these giant plasmas on the walls telling you what all the fireworks in every aisle do, oh. all playing with loud volume Whoa, the whole time. Oh, that's cool. It's a trip going in there, dude. Dude, imagine working there. Like oh, it, yeah, they, every they, day is 4th of July. They were ragged out, dude. Right, that like, reminds me of that Simpsons uh, sketch where like Simpsons. the guy they went to New Year's Eve bar where it's like New Year's Eve oh, that's every story. hour, and every hour they're like, 10, down. <laughs> 9. He's, and Homer Simpson's like, you must love life. This must be so exciting. He's like, kill me. Kill me. That must be 4th of July, people. They're like, oh, my God, it's October. We're still celebrating 4th of July. <laughs> I asked That's- this woman, to, like, hey, do you actually know anything about this shit? And she's like, yeah, 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 buddy. I know everything about fireworks. And I was like, and I told her, like, you know, let's say I wanted to spend 300 bucks and really impress my nephew. What would you do? And she just went around. She said, this one. And she told me why. You know, she's like, this one's got a lot of colors. This one, you know, is, you get a lot of shots for your dollar. And I, I've spent 300 bucks on fucking fire. And did you just light it oh, up? Oh, he loved it. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a, a trophy wife. That's a good one. That's a that's a classic there. You're so right, dude. It's they so just weird, Googled dude. American terms. Tears from heaven. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then a uh, neighbor from hell, dude. That is so funny. Like, but look at that image, dude. It's just a like a like a, a glory f- hole a fence with an eye looking through. It's it. just a glory hole. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay. Addicted Ooh. to quack. That's so. And it's just some funny, some, dude. Some, uh, some that's ducks. the next one's my favorite. Go on. Okay. The, the next, next one. one. Okay. This one? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> who cares? With this weird eyes. I mean, what? The, it a makes burnt sense. person. Like, who cares? You just burnt. <laughs> you have you have fucking burnt skin. It Nobody looks cares. looks like a Cirque du Soleil thing or something. Uh, uh, what we got? Throat punch. That one. That was like their UFC. That's not thing. bad. That's not uh, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take throat punch it's, over. Who cares? How? What are the odds that they understood that they were saying this is like a throat punch? Yeah, you know? they have no, no clue no what clue. they're putting on. This. Look at this one. Current events. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is that telling me about those Did fireworks? Anybody, what does that tell you about those fireworks? Does current events. Anybody, dude, this is the most hilarious shit. Dude, current events. <laughs> what the fuck? 
I'm telling you, you got it. If you're ever in South Johnny, Carolina, they keep going. This is my favorite moron. <laughs> it's just called moron, and it the image is just a clown, dude, a crazy clown, moron. It now, doesn't my look thought, like they sold a lot of morons. No, there was moron. She actually, I bought moron. She recommended it. Yo, she you said, gotta moron, get the moron. Moron was good. Where she yeah. like, you be a moron, not to get moron. Yeah, pretty much, dude. But my thought on this one is that maybe the, in Chinese, uh, moron translates to like clown or something, or crazy clown or something. And that's how that worked, the, the, don't you think? Because uh, why I, else Dude, are we trying to really understand this? Hillbilly lunatic. That was that's my favorite. That's so great. Isn't that great? <laughs> Hillbilly lunatic. Dude, that's like the equivalent of having one saying gangbanger crackhead, yeah, right? Yeah, like for it's, sure. it's literally the oh, same. Oh, dude, I guarantee you there's a certain percentage of these that get sent back because they're like, dude, that's racist. We can't. <laughs> you know they get sent back. Like there's some that are in some weird like uh, discount fireworks shop in you know Cambodia or something yeah, somewhere yeah, that's yeah. all the racist ones that got rejected. Not my circus, which is just a, a bear and this kind of mesmerizing sort of spiral that's thing. That's up here. there, dude. That's not my, up there not with, my circus. That's up there with who cares. Well, that's somebody really- told me that this is based on a Polish uh, phrase, not my circus, not my monkeys, which is basically a way of saying not my and not in none of my business. Yeah, not my circus. I like that one. This is a good one. Who, who, let, the who let the dogs, dogs out? out? Yeah, yeah, that's great. And it's just some dogs with smoking some some pipes. Yeah, that's great. So anyway, that was dude, my recap of my. That trip might be the, the best other. thing ever. Isn't that funny, dude? That might be. That's up there with atrocities. For it's sure. so funny. That was so funny, Johnny. You got to go in there, go- and I didn't even get all. I mean, they, this there are thousands of these names all like all just as good as any of those like i couldn't like we don't even make our own fireworks anymore no no well you know china like invented the the you know the firework mushu pork oh that too yeah this video is if you didn't watch it you're gonna love this my friend get ready for the most woke argument oh i love this one dude this is the best oh did you see it okay yeah i love this is my favorite i don't have time to waste on colonizers so if you're listening uh just to set you up this is a woman who is attractive uh, very very attractive got a great great backside uh arguing with what appears to be a native american man white woman native american man in the street getting out of their cars arguing no 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 go back listen I don't have time to waste on colonizers. Stop. Do you hear what she said? Stop. Stop. I don't have time to waste on colonizing something. No. Colonizers. Colonizers. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's going to, he says that again, too. Yeah. He's saying she's a colonizer. Yeah. And we'll, we'll this find is out how why. woke we're getting. I don't have time to waste on colonizers. He told me. He told me to go back to where I came from. You have driving habits. You don't drive again. I'm Native American. We're fucking kind and we make Okay. And as someone who's from here as well, I'm so tired of people driving like you just did. All right, get on it's my face. Constant. Get on my face. Admit you're fucking wrong, and then it's not yeah. a good thing. Admit that you're driving. Admit you're white. Right. Admit you have a colonizer it mind. It's not about race. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, it is. It is not about race. Yeah, it is. It's not about race. It's yeah, it is. The problem here. If you want things to change, when you fuck oh, up, so you so sad. have me. all the race cards. Don't fucking have me. You do not call the shut up. And don't even get in their face. Do not. Get in her face. You're picking up. So the woman just went around and looked in okay, this guy's I haven't car. seen. I haven't seen all this part. I oh, no, it's it great, dude. No, it goes on. This is part one. Okay, keep it going. Hey, hey, stay out. Please, stay out. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. We are. And it's important. It's fucking important. Give it a moment. Dude, this is so funny. So this woman who thinks she's the most liberal, perfect woman on the planet just got called racist, and her entire world is imploding right yeah, now. Yeah, right, right. right. Shut up. It's not on me who changed. It's on you and your colonizer mindset. So you get the fuck out of my this. face you now, you and white you lady. You yeah. Wa- so okay, what happened Johnny, was he stop. cut her off in traffic. Who and she are said, you? Who are you supporting right now? Who who's winning this neither, fight? N- everybody loses here. So like, are you like you're basically like every person in Tokyo when Godzilla and King Kong fight each other? Right. Exactly. You want them both to die? Yeah. 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 This is what you're it, hoping. Can they for be before. like Drago and Rocky? And yeah. Like, or no, they, no, Rocky and uh, where they it? knock each other Mr. out? Mr. T. Yeah. Where yeah, they knock the each other moment. out at the same time? Yeah. Uh, so so he cut her off in traffic, and what from what we gather, he she goes. We don't drive like that here. Go back to wherever the fuck you came from. Right. She's pretending that she that was her being raised. It really was. She was yeah. like, get the fuck back yeah. to Mexico or whatever. Hey, he looks Johnny, Mexican. guess what? Progressives yeah. are racist. Of course they are. Okay, let's but not forget that. But she's pretending 
that she meant like we don't drive like Listen, that in Oregon. Go back to your state. It's hard for me to hate state. somebody who looks that good in a jumper, yeah, right? She, I, I mean, mean that's hard. hard to pull off. Yeah. I mean, it's just like that color's gross, and she looks great in it. Yeah. I hate everybody right now. Everyone needs to hear how angry you are, but it's not about this. It's not about what just happened. I'm trying to win. Why doesn't he just get in the car and go? You're in my face. You're not in my face. Get out. You're breathing my air. You're breathing my air. Get out of my face. By the way. And don't give me those white ears and a big white beard and a big cutest. I mean, look. You don't know the pain of my people. You don't know the pain of my people. Get out! I'm going to stand here with you until you walk away. Because what you did was wrong, and then you made it about race. And that's fucked up. And you it's told me, you told me to get back to where I came from. Where, where am I from? I'm from one free friend. Where she and her you white woman mindset. I'm in. Oh, I don't care. Oh, I don't care. Put it on the enemy. Dude, right, hold on. That's that, just part one. Hold on. Part oh, there's two, part, yeah, two? part two? Yeah, part two. Oh, my God. I'm the enemy. When is the reality? She's going to come back to where I came from just because I made a simple mistake. I don't, I don't think she meant where you came from. You pulled in front of my car in my lane. Yeah. Yeah, just to get around the car. You took responsibility yeah. for what you did and you made it about race. All right, I'm out. Wrong. I'm out. Then go. Go. You have a conversation. Not Dude, you got okay, fat back. You're I'm wearing a sweater you during out. summer. You go back to fucking your Europe. Anger. You can't your anger in a productive way because this is not it's it. It's not on me. It's not on me to tell you. It's not a good representative of this. I hate all of them. I hate her. Oh, go back. What is his license plate? It, it, it's probably some res thing. He said he was from a reservation, so it's probably some Native American. Can you do it? Is that Oregon? Because if it's, it's a Oregon, variation shit. of Oregon, yeah, I, I don't. Or is it that what? SB. Hold on, I, I can tell you. Let me just look. Uh, Listen, who? I mean, like, yeah, this is like these cities, like Portland, these cities, like L.A., New York. There it is. Yeah, it's the Smoky. Oh yeah, dude. So she's totally right. She, he's totally right. Yeah, he's from Oregon. Yeah. yeah. He, well, he lives on the res, is what he said. Yeah, but he's even that. But well, Oregon. She's yeah. a, he has a license plate. What do you what do you think that he's not from there? Oh, she's lying. Yeah, of course she's lying. She's totally she, lying. I meant get back to where you were in the other lane. That's what I meant. Back I where you're from. I wasn't talking about Which your is race. what, the right lane? Yeah, that's what she meant. Does that make any sense oh, at all? Of course it does. That's what she meant. Quit making it about race, Sam. Okay, but that's not the point. Watch this. This is great. Watch this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I fuck. I cut her head off. Oh look at that. I just look. Look how defeated. Dude, let's just go back to what's on her. Let's go. Oh, oh, dude, that's where we end up. Yeah, yeah. Watch her defeated face when she walks past this chick. Sorry. I'm sorry. She's so defeated right. and embarrassed. It's okay, but that's not the point. Here I go. Wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, now I want to see what. Let's yeah, look at dude, all the stuff. It's everything. It's X Y Z love. What else we got there? Independence. Read, read, uh, read. Uh, yeah, yeah. What else we got here? Buy locally. Buy locally. Feed a friend. Feed a friend. I don't think there's. What does that peace say? Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah. I mean, she's got everything. I mean, world peace, yeah. uh, world peace, right there. I mean, that ass looks great in a jumper, bro. Oh, dude, she got it. Yeah, she looks it. great in a jumper. And and she's gotten dude, away with a lot because of that ass. Yeah, they let her get away with it. And, and finally, it's just some like, native guy was like, "No, I have." Today. Listen, here's my whole thing about road road rage: is you never get out of your car. You just oh, no, scream no. at each other and you call it a day. Yeah. Once you That's get out of the car, it gets real. Yeah. Right. Right. Absolutely. And no. like, what she think he was gonna do? You know what, lady? You're right. My shitty driving. I'm just a fat guy wearing a sweater in well, summer. Now, what I wonder? See, I think he went down to her though, because think about where his car was parked and where she was parked and where the video started. So I think he got out of his you car and walked right, all the way down to Johnny, her and was like, right. "Bitch, 
You don't tell me colonizing, you colonizer. bitch. You don't tell me to go back to where I'm from here, bitch. Yeah. And and then she Super was walking back to the car with him. Johnny, good call on that one. Now, I t- uh, tweeted you with, I said, yeah, finally. I, I've <laughs> talked about this on the Conspiracy Social Club, oh, but okay. yeah, go on. I don't well, care. You're, you're burning my, my material that I gave to you. I um, didn't burn it. Somebody burned it. I wonder why it's left to this show. I, I tweeted Sam. Pl- I was like, finally a candidate that's going to get him to uh, back to the polls. Pieces to announce the right. By the way, Tucker does. Tucker Carlson does this thing where he acts like he doesn't know what he's talking about, like what he's really saying, when he clearly does know. You know what I mean? Like he does it. He's so good at that kind of. Like ex- explain. Well, he right here. He's clearly just making fun of this bitch, and yeah. Like, I mean, but he's acting like, why don't the Democrats make this woman a candidate for president? He's a genius at doing. Rising star, the next rising star in the Democratic Party, like but it is. Her, you know. So we're going to. It's a woman called Tiara Mack. A you woman heard called of Tiara, Tiara Mack. Well, maybe that's because Ra- she's okay, a state right. senator in the country's smallest state, Rhode Island, and you have to Stop. wonder why. Stop it! Right now, I'm already like weirded out. Because she has something on her that always creeps me out. And that's when fat people have weird, dark blotches. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> like, fat people have this weird thing where it looks like they're too fat to, to wipe off the dirt off their face. I think it's like circulation. I think it's a circulation thing. Well, she's got that. Or stretch marks or something like that. I don't know, dude. It's not stretch marks. It's like dirty she's fat. She's not fat, though. She's not, but something's going on there. She's got big ass. She got big ass, which we're pro big ass here. But I see people all the time that have that weird, looks like some rubbed dirt on their face. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I think that's a, we're talking about a bunch of different sort of things here. Yeah, but she has it on her leg. Other people have it on their face. They're scared. When they're too fat in certain spots. Yeah. It it, could be, I think also if you have like your thighs rubbed together, which could be her case here. Well, that, how do you get on your face and everything? If you, if well, you have, I think that's a different like, thing. Fat I think, neck? You ever seen fat neck? They always have fat neck. Like people with dark skin, you know, if they get acne scars. Yeah, but these scars, people are dark look, skin, though. She's sometimes, skin. Yeah, she is, but sometimes you'll see like white people what with What am I, a it. fucking dermatologist? I well, don't know what it saying. is. I'm just saying. Well, you're it's trying to act week, like I'm being an offensive. An Ivy League degree no, I just don't, from Brown, I but still technically Ivy League. Famous people send their kids there. By the way, stop. Now, is this mid-twerk that she looks like she has I think one so. fat ass and one tiny ass? Well, we're going to find out. Let's find out. You should be impressed. And so she's- if you're listening at home, Tucker Carlson is in a... In a <laughs> he's, he's side by side uh, with uh, a woman standing on her head with her, just her ass completely spread out, doing an upside down twerk. It's an amazing performer. Here's your latest campaign ad. You see what he's doing though? He's like, she's an amazing perf-. You know what I mean? He's doing yeah, this like Yeah, it's acting obviously like tongue and cheek. Right, exactly. Could you try again? Uh, Siri, I don't need anything from you. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Hold on, stop. Is that her oh, saying that? That's what I'm wanting. Going, what that, she, that ass, that ass. We used to play yeah, it one what, more time. What she's saying? What if it was Tucker? Performer. Here's your latest campaign ad. Votes in her Mac. So you ever had those moments where you see something and you're like, oh, that's the future. That's what it looks like. We saw Tierra Mac head in the sand, <laughs> twerking, and we thought, man, that's the Democratic Party 2020. So not everyone liked it. And she responded this way on Twitter, quote, damn, twerking upside down really makes the conservative unhinged internet accounts pop off on Monday. Yeah, well, they're popping and nevertheless, off she wrote, I'm really excited for the reading. House sex ed bill hearing later today. Teaching comprehensive, queer, inclusive, pleasure-based sex ed was a highlight of my time teaching. I'm sure she was a great teacher. And you got to wonder, since she just some... I got to admit, though, if I was a young boy i would love to have her yeah of course everything the democratic party is for why isn't her own party embracing her why is she still a state senator you're, in Rhode you're Island? right and what he's why isn't doing? she secretary yeah. of state why aren't they pushing her for president oh she's not old enough really because the racist constitution said she's not old enough want to change the constitution why not make tiara mack it's a comedy bit. your I mean, standard it's... bearer in 2024 but they're not they're pushing joe biden was like 100 years old, pale, stale Joe Biden, and then Hillary Clinton and Pete Buttigieg. Again, talk about is, systemic he just racism. Like, Tierra Mack, so 2024. She ought to run with the guy in the dress who oversees Biden's nuclear waste program. <laughs> that fucking guy. That's Sam Britton. He's our new deputy assistant secretary yeah, for have you spent seen him? fuel and waste oh, yeah. disposition. I mean, it's just, Deals with the spent fuel rods. It's 
It's he's also it's, got something called a. Here's what here. Did you hear what he said? He deals with his spent fuel rods. That's Listen, <laughs> he's he's great. I, I mean, Tucker Carlson go fuck himself. Oh no, he's yeah, he's not great. But yeah. he's it, funny though. But when he when he can be good, he's a broken clock. When he's right, he's right. Yeah. Right. I used to love him. So so here's the whole thing about this woke shit. Is it's like it's super funny, and then I get I got nervous when I think it was Jordan Peterson or somebody was talking about like, dude, this is all fun and games until they set precedents. Yeah, until they start getting into these courts and they start pushing this stuff and they get the right judge that sets a precedent. Now we'll never be able to get it back, yeah. and, and they, that is the issue. And they get laws behind now, it. Now, can you see? Can you find the one with the senator that was asking the Berkeley law oh, professor? Yeah. It was Holly. It was Senator Holly. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm sure in there was a time where Senator Holly, I would rail against him being uh, a, a knucklehead idiot. Yeah, me too. Right? I have a lot of problems with that guy. Yeah, right? I mean, like... I want to make sure I understand stop what you it, mean Stop it, stop it. He has all the energy of these fucking 80s Republicans, these 90 Republicans, the Bush people. That warmongers, neocons. Warmongers, yeah. neocon. He has that energy. He but, is that guy. Yeah, yeah, that's him. But in this instance, yeah. he is right. Think about how much of a fucking asshole you have to be to make this guy seem like a sympathetic no, imagine character. Imagine how dumb you have to be with what you're saying. Idiot, yeah. Now, let's set it. Who's he talking to? This woman you're about to hear is a Berkeley Law professor. Now, I have a cousin. Okay, he's younger than He has my name. He's younger. And he's like super smart. And he's deciding where he wants to go to school. Don't go there. Okay? I go, you're never going to Berkeley. I will come there and kidnap you. Those are your best sex years, okay? Those are your best party, bang everything that moves. Those are your best years, okay? I went from high school getting nothing to going to college getting everything, okay? And... Berkeley, they're too busy riding and being angry. Those are your prime party years. You're not supposed to be angry till you get old. You're like, these whippersnappers. When you're a whippersnapper, you're supposed to be partying, have a good time, shagging everything that moves. Arizona State, dude. Go to Arizona State. Huh? San Diego State, San Diego Miami, State. UNLV. I mean, like, here's the whole thing, Johnny. Do you think Texas football has kind of fallen off because the city, is Austin, is a, is a dumpster fire? It's a thought, man. It's what our outro song's now, all about. Now they got, they got Archie Manning's grandson, Arch, Arch Manning. Yeah, Arch Manning. Stupidest. Some fucking people name. think he's not as good as he's being called. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he's, that his last name is getting where he, get him, and we've seen that with with Texas before when they got um, who was the who was the giant Super Bowl quarterback? Oh, uh, Sims, Phil Sims, Phil Sims' uh, son. Yeah. And he, and Applegate Chris was Sims. the coach. Chris Sims. Was Apple the, White. Apple White. Major Apple White. Major Apple White was the was, starter, and he was doing yeah. record numbers. And they pulled him for uh, and Sims Chris could never Sims, do it, yeah. which is the same thing that happened to Tom Brady, right? By the way, Julius Peppers nearly ended Chris Sims' life one day for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He ruptured his spleen during a game, and he almost died. Okay, fun story. Played through it. That's all the sports you're gonna hear today. Yeah, okay, that's it. sorry about that. Last so week. this, just know that this is Berkeley. Law professor. Fuck this she shit. She teaches forever. law. An educated person. Go on, play this. <laughs> you referred to people with a capacity for pregnancy. Would that be women? Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the capacity for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are. Wait, Stop. Hold on. Stop. I, you're going to do the piercings, right? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, you, know, you have all the crazy piercings. Yeah. Not only that, you have crazy eyes, right? Crazy eyes. Like if you were at a bar and you saw this chick and you were talking to her with those eyes, I don't care how fucking much your dick runs the show, you would run. You would throw a coup over your dick and get out. Start it again. Look at how crazy her eyes are. Depends on what's on the table, but yeah, maybe. What do you mean? Like... I could convince myself to do a lot of dumb things uh, if my dick's running the show. Right. Well, I mean, like, dude, I'm talking about a guy whose his dick's got him a ton of trouble. But look at her crazy eyes. Dude, you can't have those crazy eyes. I call them day shift stripper eyes. And you see young comics have that eyes. They, they have that look in their eyes. 
and then when when they get it, get something going in their career, then it, then it goes away. Go back a little bit okay. to when she I mean, first starts talking. Just, she's got two nose piercings. She's got that septum yeah. piercing. That She'll is just, soon have a piercing inside her piercing. Here we go. Have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not. Capacity for pregnancy. Watch this. It, would that be women? Stop it. Yes. Right, right when it starts. Wait, when, when it switches when to When she starts, yeah. Many women, cis women, have the capacity for pregnancy. Many cis women do not have the Dude, crazy in the eyes. Oh, yeah. Just crazy in the eyes. Now, Johnny, what do you think this is? She's about to explain that men can have babies. She's angry. Do you think that she literally believes that, or is she just towing the company line? I think once you get to a certain point, it's the same thing. Like, it's, it's just, like, once you... Tow the company line for so long, you start to believe it becomes it. it becomes what you are. You start to identify with it, and right. then when they offend you, the company, yeah. they're offending you yes. to your core. And then you go to war. That's it. That's 100%. that's why that's why they can get us all to destroy each other because people have started to identify with their yes. political. Thoughts. And think about her. She's a Berkeley professor, which oh, she, means she makes good money. And right? also, there are maybe five people in America more indoctrinated than this person right yeah, here because well, of the education she's had. Right, right. She is in the epicenter of uh, of cultural Marxism. Brainwashed. And yeah. stupidity. Fully brainwashed. Like, she is what I talk about, the difference between intelligence and smart. Absolutely. Yeah, she is right. really intelligent. She is not smart. That's absolutely right. She is capacity data. for pregnancy. Um, there are also trans men who are capable of pregnancy as well as non-binary stop, people. Who stop, are- stop. What percentage of people on the planet oh, fuck. fall into what she is talking about enough that she feels she should have to take, she should, we should change the definition. What percentage of the world population there's some zeros after that decimal point. I mean, it's... It doesn't make yeah. any sense. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, and dude, this attitude she takes with him, it's just... She starts, like, laughing. Watch, watch. No, yeah, watch what she does. This is classic. Go on. He nails her. He nails her. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a... Uh, we it's, can it's recognize what? that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. So Those mad. things are not mutually exclusive. Oh, Senator like Holly. Oh, so Look at that you, eyes. Look at yeah. the eyes. There's a there's a big eyes that's she's in her crazy place right now. She's talking to him she's like she's starting a child, to be challenged. That's it. Yeah, you're right. She's starting to be challenged. This never happens to her. Where she's at, nobody questions Would anything. Dare to do it. Yeah. Hey, you're not too fat to transition, yeah. okay? And you can just have no respect for him as a human. Okay. Like, no, no because now now she is being forced to defend her position. Which never happened, so let's go. Which you would think somebody in a okay. law school would so be defending. So just think, all he said is, what do you mean by person, a birthing person, basically? Oh, so this isn't about women. That's all he said so far. Yeah, it's not a women's right issue. It's not okay. capable of pregnancy, as well as non-binary people who are capable of pregnancy. So this isn't really a women's rights issue. It's a, it's, We can it's recognize what? that this impacts women while also recognizing that it impacts other groups. So Those things are not mutually exclusive. To there the goes the crazy uh, so eyes. Your She's view so is, is that the core of this, She's this starting right to freak out. is about what? So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning... Stop. Um, it- Stop. That is every... Berkeley conference. What she's doing right here is what they do on Berkeley. Oh yeah, we've seen it before. Right, where, like they're trying to have some kind of like group meeting of the co- local communist yes, party. Or whatever. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. He's like you said, the you social guys. Democrats, yeah. right? Yeah. So what she's doing is now she's trying to defame him, like yeah. the 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 famous character, and not have a discussion of what is not not have an actual discussion, but try to kneecap him into running scared because where she's at, she's about to give somebody the death penalty. Yeah, yeah. She just is cutting his head off where well, she's from. Yeah. Right? It's, it's over. Right? You know, it's like like I'm playing Krypton. She's about to pull off the Krypton and people are about yeah. to melt. All you and you me the- here, we walk up, grab <laughs> Krypton, we walk, brush our teeth with, we throw it out, nothing. <laughs> Kryptonite, yeah, yeah. Right? Kryptonite. Yeah. But here she's about to drop where she's from. Kryptonite in these uh, Where she's from, all after what she says, all you would hear is, mm-hmm. And, and then you would hear snapping. somewhere out of the air, fatality, right? <laughs> is transphobic, um, and it opens up trans people to violence by Stop. not recognizing that. 
Stop. I hear what she says. Why? Listen to what she said. Him questioning her whether this is a woman's issue is opening trans people up to violence. Which and is, this is where, and most trans people want to live their life. Makes no sense. I mean, it just makes no sense. All the trans people I know just want to live their life. What All my world friends, does that work? It's just that thing you're always saying to, to these people, words are violence. Yes, you know? that's what she's doing right yeah. now. This is, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, is this a straw man argument? Is this where you just go to the, the most crazy fucking... Uh, uh, it's not really a straw man argument. What's it no. called when you go to the worst case scenario right out the gate and you don't even debate? The craziest version I, I, of it? I, I don't know. Will you one. look up what straw man is? A straw man is where you, you make the weakest version of their argument and kind of poke holes in that. You know what I'm saying? Or the craziest version of that argument? Well, no, a, so I a feel straw like, man is a form of an argument and an informal fallacy of having the impression of refuting an argument, whereas the real subject of the argument was not addressed or refuted, but instead, that's straw man. It, instead replaced with a false subject. Yeah, but but she's not even doing that. She's not even doing an argument. She's just saying what, you're a piece of shit. You know? Yeah, but she's going to the. She's bringing up stuff that wasn't even in the discussion. So I think it is a straw man argument. A straw possibly. man argument is like so. What you're saying is like that's a straw man like. You know what okay. I mean? A Go comment on. like uh Go on. Run yeah. this. I love this angle it, more because I didn't see this angle and you're getting to see all of her her and it's really weird when feminists lean into this shit because oh, there's yeah. a lot of feminists who aren't for this at all. And they're called TERFs, tariffs, T E R F. I don't know. That. Trans exclusion radical feminists, I think they're called. T E R S. And that's a lot of the old school, like women that bled on the battlefield. Not a lot of the, the old ones either. Like, a lot of young ones too are like, dude, stop trying to. But fuck I mean, it. the ones that started this movement are in. A lot of them are yeah. in those in those numbers that you're yeah. you're talking about there. All right, so run it. So um, I want to recognize that your line of questioning um, is transphobic, um, and it opens up trans people to violence by not recognizing that. Wow, you're saying that I'm opening up people to violence by asking whether or not women are the Look folks. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Look at what she was doing, dude. She is so enjoying this. Watch this. Asking dude. whether or not. Oh, dude, I got to pause it on that moment. That face is showing that she's not sincere. Actually, look yeah, at this dude. Yeah, look yeah. Look at that well, face, she, bro. You know what that face is? I just, yeah. I you're, just, your life's over, buddy. Yeah, I just annihilated you. Whoopsie! I just you, annihilated you. Said you said the wrong thing. Now you're dead. You're Fuck done. You. Your Enjoy never over. being able to work anywhere again. Woo. Your life is finished. Your wife will probably leave you. You'll have to live on the streets. Remember, and be homeless. Remember one minute ago when you still had tenure? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Now let's see. Now this is very interesting. Watch it. Whether right. or not women are the folks who can have pregnancies. Okay, so, stop. Um, she's like, wait a minute, stop you're it. dead. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, hold on, you're still going? You're still going? This argument's still going? I hit you with a fatality. <laughs> I used all my turbo on this one. Go on, this is Look great. At this pause on her face. She's like, oh shit, I've never been to this stage of the argument. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Usually I say this stupid shit that I don't mean, and it, everyone runs for cover. It's like she finally played somebody who's actually good at Madden, you know, for yeah. the first time. She's like, oh fuck. One, I want to note that one out of five transgender uh, persons have attempted suicide. Stop. So I think Stop. Now she switched again. Now it went from violence against. To people committing suicide. She just keep going deep, deeper. And dude, that is my whole argument. That's my whole discussion. They keep acting like that, that the might actually be a straw man. That last thing. That's just, I don't know. It just makes my head hurt. It's just like, well, one out of five people. What's so that? Stupid. What? What? What, so what are stupid. the factors that lead to that? You can't, you're, you're just minus, you're just throwing out all these extra factors that we haven't even brought into discussion because we're not even discussing this argument. It's not even relevant. Our discussion was, can anybody but women have children? And now you're into one out of five kill themselves. I actually think the number is higher than she's saying. I think it's way more than one out of five. But there's a lot of discussion. Like, are they on hormone therapy? Yeah. What is that hormones doing to them? Are they making them suicidal? Are they doing a lot of drugs? Are they putting themselves in dangerous situations? Are they not listening to their spirit and their inner voice telling them to go a different way in life? Did they There's have a, surgery and then kill themselves? Yeah, are themselves. they regretting what they're doing? Are they not happy where they're... There's a lot of things that go out, then people go, oh, try to put... Like, 
It's crazy, dude. I can guarantee you none of them before they died were like, I saw Senator Hawley on TV and yeah, he said some I, nasty again, words. Again, I, this is, I, I, dude, I have a trans friends. I don't hate trans. This no, is, who, nobody this hates is, trans. Yeah, I mean, exactly. And I would tell I mean, you. Some people probably, I'm sorry, I don't want to downplay. There are some, but, but nobody who, Who's like a normal person has any strong feelings? Most about people trans. just want to live. You, most people yeah. want to live your life, and no matter what live anyone says, live. this movement that's been happening—the gay movement, the trans movement—has opened people's minds to oh, just absolutely. let people yeah, live for sure. Yeah. Just let them live their lives. Yeah, I mean, right? people in my family who are you know like more creeped out by it are just now like you know whatever. Who can these people want them to be do, doing drag? Queen story hour. How about let him get a regular job where they can wait tables and live a normal life and and have a regular job without having to sell their asses on the streets yeah. and stuff like that. Be a sex worker. And again, don't have a problem with sex workers. Is that what you want to do? But like, there's other jobs out there that unfortunately some trans aren't allowed to do because society gets weirded out by. Let's work on those jobs before we start going into. Hey, man, you should teach kids to read in school. That's. I mean, they're just trying to do the most provocative shit, and that's what this is. Well, they're they're example. trying to start chaos. It's that's this it. is divide and conquer, Absolutely. and she's swallowed it hook, line, and sinker because she's gone to Ivy League schools. She swallowed some stuff, for right? Sure. She's drinking the Kool Aid, and she doesn't even realize she's a useful idiot. Because if she studied cultural Marxism, which always leads to communism, she'd realize that the people who get marginalized the first all the time are women, ethnic minorities, and alternative lifestyles all the time. Oh, yeah, it's never the white dudes. Yeah, They never. get marginalized. They get wiped out. Yeah. And they're do she's doing the their bidding. So go on. It's important because of my line of questioning? Because so we can't talk about it? Because denying that trans people exist and pretending not to know that they exist I'm denying dangerous. that trans people exist by asking are you? you if you're talking are you? about women are you? having pregnancies. Yeah. Do you believe that the, uh, men can get pregnant? <laughs> No, I don't think so. <laughs> so you are denying that trans people like this thing. And that leads to violence. Is this how you run your classroom? Are students allowed to question you? Absolutely. Or are they also treated like this? Where no, no, no. They're, they're told that to they're at opening up people to oh, violence. We have a good time questioning. in my class. You should join. Oh, I bet. You might learn a lot. Wow, I, I would learn a lot. I've learned you, a lot I just know. in this exchange. Absolutely. Extraordinary. Isn't it um, scary that that person is a professor of law? I mean, like, dude, law is about, law is about, no emotion. Laws about figuring out the facts of what happens. Oh, yeah, discussing the terms of documents. This, what happened in the situation. Not bringing emotional garbage to an argument. I mean, like, I mean, Berkeley just like, they, like, how do you go out and go, great job. Look at her. She's almost like, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Which is like, did you see that, that thing about, uh, Matt Walsh and, uh, What's a woman? Have you seen that where he talks to the transgender professor, like the no. transgender white professor? Look it up. Dude, it's crazy. Matt Walsh, transgender, transgender uh, professor. Or? Questions about Watch women's this. studies. And so shouldn't the, the first answer you should be able to provide is what exactly is a woman? Well, it's, it, for me, it's, it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what do they wait, identify? Wait, wait, hold on. Is this a, a, a sketch? Like a, no. That's a real, okay, okay. I just, this, he screams like a character. Yes. So funny. As a woman. But, just, but what is that? As a woman. Do you know what a circular definition is? I do. Is this real? It's sort of like. Yeah. What you're doing right now, where a woman is, is a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, because you're seeking what we would call in my field of work an essentialist definition of gender. I think it sounds like you would like me to give you a set of biological or cultural characteristics that are associated with so the word one has no gender or the other. I'm not seeking any type of definition, I'm just seeking a definition. Yeah, and I gave you one. Well, now I can That's say I've been the cop. Can you look at it because there's even more to it? Oh, it's a documentary. Where he goes, on? what is the truth? Oh, I got to watch this, dude. This looks great. So so he goes, what is the truth? And the guy goes, the guy goes, um, I'm going to kick you out. Is it, oh, this oh, is yeah, it. The here truth it is. is transphobic. Yeah. I got you. I'm okay. just trying to start by getting to the truth, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm really uncomfortable with that language of, like, g getting to the truth. Again, 
in social why, why life. Is that, why is that uncomfortable? Because that, it sounds actually deeply transphobic to me. <laughs> um, and, if you, and if you keep probing, we're going to stop the interview. I, if I probe I, about what the truth is? You keep invoking the word truth, which is condescending and rude. I'm saying how to is, you. How is the word truth condescending and rude? Look at his body language change. That's funny. Why don't you tell me what your truth is? And you're walking on 30 seconds more of the nice before. Your I truth. First of all, that's their language. Your truth. Tell yeah, what my truth. truth I know my truth. Yeah. Everybody has Whenever their own little bubble. Like, yeah. I know my truth. You know you're dealing with somebody who's a space cadet. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. out there. When we had this yeah. Me Too shit going on, and these girls got caught BSing this certain comic, that's the one woman truth. goes, I know my truth. <laughs> like, fuck. What my truth is? Well, I don't think I really have a truth. I think that there's just the truth, like the reality and so I love this guy's we should though. begin by trying to figure out what the reality is. Uh-huh. <laughs> I gotta watch I'm watching that for sure tonight, probably. Oh, and, again, it's tremendous. and again, we're like again, it's like these people are pushing a narrative that gets people in trouble. What do you mean? Like like this this push of like you have a man trying to tell everybody we can't define what a woman is. And women are upset about that. And like even batshit crazy Bette Mittler is like, hey man, they're trying to erase us. And she's totally right. Because it's all about divide and conquer, right? I mean, first of all, you weaponize women against men. And now you weaponize gay men against women. And that's how it goes. And nobody knows who's coming or going. We're all destroying ourselves. Right? And it's not me, because I don't care. I live your life. Just stop. Listen, man. You always hear about the the the, the left. Always like stop pushing our your religion on us. And I get that because I think religion is a personal thing. Okay, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, having grown up with people who are evangelicals, I get this idea that if you thought genuinely that people who didn't believe the way you believe were going to experience eternal suffering then you would be a piece of shit if, I you, get didn't, that. if you didn't I, try to I reach get other that. people. I totally get that, right, from their point of view. Yeah. But do you understand that that really honestly isn't much different than that that professor talk, going, hey, man, if you don't recognize these people, you're going to allow violence. I think it is completely different because I don't think that most of them believe that, actually. I, mean, I, I think she maybe has she does, convinced herself of that, yeah. right? They have yeah. convinced them. They're so indoctrinated. Now, listen, I'm a spiritual man. Love the Lord. Love Jesus. Love all that stuff. I'm not saying being religious is bad in any way. I'm just saying there's no, some... No, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Right? So it's like when we get into these things where it's like, oh, okay. But, you know, so the left always like, stop pushing your religion on us. Hey, man, stop pu pushing your cultural Marxism on everybody. That's a, it's just never a just about just let me live. It's always like... Yeah, in your face, in your face, and both extremes do it all the time. You already have the crazies on the rough right going. This is the end of hookup culture. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. can't wait to see that <laughs> as the as the evangelical preacher ends up banging his secretary. Can't wait, can't wait. Again, these things are moral judgments you have to make for yourself. Oh, dude, I mean, I remember when I was a kid, man, we had uh, uh, a, a teacher at the school, a male teacher, who was absolutely seduced by this 18-year-old girl and, and got her pregnant, you know, and he got fired. And my church, dude, they, this guy, who by all rights should have been destroyed by them, they got together and get, he was Canadian, he was living out of the country. They got together and took care of his housing for a while until he could get back to Canada. And, and this was a guy, you know, who should. And that uh, that kind of religion, I've always had time for. You know, that I for, have forgiving. no problems with religion, and yeah. I have no. Because but there's this God. judgmental kind too. Yeah, one hundred percent. And there's just some hypocrisy of these super evangelicals pushing this doctrination in the name of God and then not being who they say they are. Well, the, what I guess what I'm saying is the people that I don't have any problem with God or people worshiping. God. The what I have a problem people with people who aren't forgiving. You know what I mean? People who aren't. Which is most of the religious. Forgiving. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I travel the country, Johnny, all the time. The red states aren't Puritans anymore. Oh, yeah, they yeah, really yeah. are just live and let live. That's what people don't understand. And even Mark Maron, who's a super progressive guy, was talking about how he had a great time in the yeah, red he states. He plays all the South, yeah. Yeah. 
They left. Mar, Mar loves the South. Yeah, they're they're so, because they're the new common sense. And I think that we, I think now we're starting to see that these extremes on the right and the left are super dangerous and we have to push them out regardless of whether we believe in what they're saying or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Live and let live. That's it. And your relationship with your sexuality, your, your lifestyle is your relationship. That's your thing. Don't push on other people, your religion. I get what you're saying about damnation. But we are in a place right now. Oh, I'm not saying push it on other people. I'm just but if I come up to you, Johnny, going, "Hey, dude, I need some help. I'm, I, I want to know what you think about the Lord, right?" And then, then you could come talk to me. My best friend. Hey, hey, hey. Every time I go home, he talks to me about Jesus. And go, you know what I do? I listen. Does he and really? I, That's every, so time, sweet. That's every time. Every time. And the, I love the Mormons him. used to come to my apartment all the time. And that one day, I made the mistake of letting them come in and watch a Braves game with me. And I got a phone call from the Mormons every single day for seven years can i tell you a funny Seven story years. it's not that long so there's this famous story about david tell about long we're going well i know david tell we gotta do more stories no no yeah we got they're quick but yeah okay david tell met these done. people at a at a comedy show i think it was and they invited him back to their house to do coke right this is back when he partied well, they have pictures of him showing up like every day for like forever. Dave Attell? Yeah, to keep doing blow with them. <laughs> That's so awesome. Over and over and over again. <laughs> That's great. That reminds me of the story. Go on. <laughs> That's like a Bill Murray story. Um, all right. Uh, you want this? Okay. I just wanted to show you this video. You said you didn't see this, and this is wonderful. I love this. This is shit. another fast food fight here. I love these. I could watch or this like shit a burger, all the time. Burger fight. Any, like, dude, Waffle House fight. Watch this. This guy right here is shit-faced and is attacking these guys. Look, watch this. Dude. Watch this. Oh! Oh, my God! He just licks the back of his hand and smacks Bam. it down. Bitch oh slaps this dude. Oh, my God! That's the most perfect backhand and bitch slap I've ever seen. So this was like gay guys at a hamburger shop That's fighting each other. That's what it seems like, yeah. But, dude, this dude is lucky that Wait. he fell back the way he did oh, yeah. and slumped down because that guy could have hit his head, bro. And died. Yeah, yeah. For sure. That's why fighting is so dangerous. Let's got to watch that one more oh, time. Oh, my so God. Like his face, the way it's framed up, he licks his hand, walks off. He's trying to this. Oh, my God. And then that's when you walk as fast as you can. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Well, I Get mean, the fuck out. He probably, he probably went to jail, let's be honest. Get the fuck out. Uh, this is just a real quick story from the state. Listen to this, Sam. Uh, Missing South Carolina man fell into a shredder at a Greer Recycling Company, the coroner's office finds. So this guy had been missing for a while. A man missing since early May fell into a shredding machine in an upstate recycling center and died, test show. Spartanburg County Coroner Rusty Clevenger said small pieces of a human body were found around the machine that Duncan Alexander Burl Gordon... Boy, he's got one, two, three, four fucking names. Wow. I have four names. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, he was working at the recycling center, and he fell into this machine, and all they found were just scraps of this dude, dude. Tissue had been found on a conveyor belt by Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office, and they tested it, and it matched his DNA. That's all they found, dude, was just chunks oh, of this guy in a shredder. God. Can you imagine, dude, just That's falling disgusting. into a shredder and never, they never find... Well, they, I was about to say they never find hide nor hair of you, but oh, <laughs> that's all they found was hide and hair. Johnny, it's gross. Guy. I got to go. Hold on. We're almost done. You wanted, This is your story. Uh, uh, this one right here. Oh, dude. Okay. I love this story. I love street justice. So well, what's happening is it, right? here is this guy's about to rob this old dude, right? These guys are about to rob this old guy. These guys are robbing an old guy in his an car. An old guy in a car. This is the best thing ever. This guy's about to rob this dude in the car. They're pulling These him out. These guys see this. They run over. That's, that's a, woman. a chick. She's like, stop it. Get the fuck out of here. And then a guy, and then look at this. Everybody shows up in the neighborhood. Everybody shows up. And start chasing this dude and beating the shit out of him. Everybody shows up. And they start. I <laughs> just called just in it. a truck. <laughs> tow truck shows up and starts beating the shit out of this guy. The whole entire village. Shows up. What country start, do you think? This is somewhere in Africa? Senegal. Senegal. Senegal? Okay. Yeah. 
This looks like something that would happen in this Senegal. Would, by the way, I text you this. This would never happen in the United States. People just drive right by. Depends on the neighborhood. Yeah, maybe. Depends on the neighborhood. But in the city, now, Johnny, in LA, in a city. If you're, you're going fucked. to drive with a bat in your car, you have to have a mitt and a ball. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. You got to have like, a mitt and a ball. like, I'm going to a softball game. Yeah, right? I play softball by myself. Dude, I love that. They just show up out of nowhere. I wish we could find that video where that one guy literally fights this entire group of guys and just starts knocking them all out one punch, knocking dudes out. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I, I we haven't been able to find it. Okay, this is it. the last thing. Here's this is left. Joey. This is one thing we missed over the holiday. This is the best. Uh, Joey Chestnut, the famous uh, hot dog eater. So, uh, so, so they're eating person. all these hot dogs. Joey Chestnut is destroying people. He's and the he's, goat. He, yeah, he's four on top, six on top of people. He's the goat of eating hot dogs. Yes, he is the goat. And somebody. Do you think he just throws up? Is that what it is? Is that why he's not fat? Oh, for sure. And I, I think he, they train with salad. They don't train with hot dogs. They eat like shit tons of salad, like lettuce, you know, just okay. to expand their stomachs. Okay, so here. <laughs> so look, somebody comes up Expose here. Expose May. Mythfield Death Star. Let's see what, what is that? that? Let's look up the Mythfield. We're about to expose it. Let's see. Myth. Joey Field. Chestnut knows he's yeah. up enough to f- to fuck up. Smithfield probably is what it says. What is Smithfield it? Death Star. No, no. Okay. No, it is Smithfield. It is, is it Smithfield? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what uh, is it? Hold on. I'm looking it up right now. Expose Smithfield's Death Star, uh, according to the sign. According to Direct Action Everywhere, the Death Star sign is the protesters... Poster, uh, it's a large pig, pig farm. It's a big pig uh, okay. farm. Okay, I respect okay. that. What we do to pigs is crazy, bro. They're so smart. And tasty. Oh, go on. I had, I had a pet pig. Oh Joey Chestnut doesn't, I mean, he's so Doesn't fat. even skip a no, beat, dude. bro. Watch him. He puts him in a headlock and just pushes him aside. Oh <laughs> That's amazing. And he still wins. Still wins. Good. And for how him. about the fact that they let him up to do it again? Did they? I didn't see that. Right. He falls down. They throw him down. He goes back to eating hot dogs. Darth Vader gets up again, and they throw him down again. Goddamn, Joey Chestnut. American hero. American hero. Real man of genius. All right, Johnny. How did? What did you think of this episode? Good one. We got a lot. We got some we covered, great we stories. So much shit. Yeah. We got to clip this shit up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Guys, if you want to see me live, I'm going to be in, uh, well, probably this will come out after. So San Fr- uh, Sunday. Comedy Chaos is on Wednesday. Two killer shows. Grab your tickets now. And then we're going to be in San Francisco, August 5th and 6th. I will see you there. Thank you, Johnny. Always a pleasure. Take care. Pick up your guitar. Sing me a song. This was Groover's paradise Now the Groover is gone Was a cool little city